Hello, 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 we should be live. OMG, hi Lucor. Um I see I see we had a bit of a a bit of a rambunctious crew in here. The uh the early birds, if you will. I saw you guys were a couple of you were early birds. Um But uh welcome, welcome everyone. How is everyone doing? I, I everyone seems really excited. Um So uh I don't know. Everyone seems really excited. Oh, Luke, or are you, uh, Luke, or are you spoiler free right now? Or are you, uh, have you watched that you just don't get, care about opinions <laughs> that are stupid as motherfuckers? Um. Oh, you are spoiler free. Nice. Yeah, no, I haven't opened. The only server I opened is my own server, which Max did spoil uh mario party but we were talking to smt yesterday and that's the super mario tyler and he said he suspects there will be a new mario party so is it really that surprising um it, like his dad basically is nintendo so like it's not that surprising um other than that the only other thing i know which is not a for me it's not a huge one at least yet um is uh i'm pretty sure i'm assuming ace attorney got the investigation games um, like remastered or something because uh people were posting uh new Ace Attorney art in our server, so I would assume that that was the investigation games getting remastered. But that's the only thing that I know. Um, yeah, well, yeah, it was Chelsea. No, it was just art. Oh, they made new art because no, that's it, Chelsea. It's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. And Hector also spoiled that there's Fire Emblem Meat and Fuck Kingdom. Um, and I'm really excited for that one. Um. I, I, well, I don't know. I don't know if Hector put that because there actually is a Fire Emblem game and that shit looks like a dating sim, or if, uh, or if there's actually no Fire Emblem and Bro wants me to get really excited for nothing. Um. But either way, um, like I said, so the things I'm spoiled on is Mario Party, um, which I mean, like, you know, it's not like the biggest of spoilers, right? Um, Ace Attorney Investigations, like, probably remastered trilogy or however many there are. Um, which I don't know if that's, like, I don't know if that, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not, like, I haven't even finished the first three, so, like, you know, I'm not, like, I wouldn't say, like, I'm, like, uh, that's super exciting for me. But once I finish the first three, that'll probably be super exciting for me. Um. Very good. <laughs> it's almost been one year, Miss Viwo. Oh, it's almost been one year. Um, it's a spinoff series, gotcha. Um, but either way, like, like I haven't finished, like, I, well, I finished one, right? So, oh no, I didn't, I didn't see whatever was after investigations. I, I, like I said, I, I only opened our server and I saw like initially, and now I'm like live because I, I finished eating breakfast. But I sat there, I sat there like staring at my wall eating breakfast because I was like, I was like. Because I, I grabbed my phone, I grabbed my phone and I was like, no, I can't, like, I, I'm not safe anywhere. I was like, I'm not safe anywhere. Like, if I look on Twitter, I'm going to get spoiled. If I look like, I don't know, in my discords, I'm going to get spoiled. I was like, no, no, I can't. So I just like sat there and stared at my wall and ate breakfast. Um, gotcha. One of the investigation games is never localized. That's neat then. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It seems like everyone's very excited, so I am, I am, I am also excited. Um, so, how is, uh, play the direct brother? Bro, die. Die. We have, I don't know, I mean, normally I start like eight minutes later from now. But I was gonna say, um, what, uh... Hey, oh wait, who here has not seen the direct? I know Lucor and probably Witch hasn't, right? That was pretty dope. You haven't? Okay. 
EG peeps randomly decided to spoiler tag everything about the direct? Or are you saying, <laughs> Spock, are you saying you went in and like edited their messages to spoiler tag them or what? Or are you saying that they randomly choose, like they pick and choose what they want to spoiler tag? I'm confused. Oh, his ass and ass and ass. Gotcha. Well, okay. The 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 greatest test of courage was uh, what's it called? Was was Nick was like, don't go into the Smash Bros. Discord unless you want to see like the worst takes imaginable, and like that's that's one of my favorite parts is going in the Smash Bros. Discord and all the motherfuckers in there being like. Okay, well, that direct fucking sucked because no, there was no uh, there was no Smash Bros. character, um, and there was well, there wasn't Xenoblade Four, so basically it was the worst direct ever known to mankind. And I'm gonna watch this shit, and it's gonna be like peak or some shit. Um, I, I like I said, I did not go in there because I knew they'd probably be like, oh, I'm sad, because like I remember the direct where they announced the new WarioWare, and they were like, oh, WarioWare was their big game, and it's. It's like, bro, you're literally four years old. Grow the fuck up. Like, learn what the fuck a good game is and play one for once. Um, I mean, it, like, I mean, it wasn't their big game, right? But, like, that was one of their new games. And they're like, oh, I don't really give a shit about a new war. We're like, grow the fuck up. No, WarioWare is peak. But, like, like I said, this is our Smash server from, like, the Smash people from college. And most of them only play Smash Bros or like Smash Bros plus like one other series that they're they're super like uh super into. Like Soul Arts is Xenoblade. Like the two games he's played is Xenoblade and Smash Bros. Those are the two games he has played um in his life. And then uh you know. Um if it's in game news, I feel like it's free reign. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I think I started spoiler tagging stuff in gaming news. I, I think I did that like once or twice when it was like during, maybe when it was during Summer Games Fest. And I don't know. Because I don't know. I like, I don't know. I, I figured I, why why not spoiler tag stuff if, if you know, it better safe than sorry, right? It's not like a huge deal to spoiler tag stuff. So I don't know. But anyway. And also I know, I think Falcon is planning on streaming it later because I think he always does. Like he's the one who sets up the bingos, right? And then he, uh, like, I think he watches them later, so maybe, I don't know, maybe because they know he doesn't watch them right away or whatever. But, anyway. Yo, what's up, Tyler? Tyler, no spoilers, Tyler, no spoilers. I, uh, we haven't even, we haven't even opened it. Peak Direct, okay, okay. Is that the Super Mario T? It is, in fact, the Super Mario T. I think I'm right before it starts, so, um... But anyway, oh, my actually, my screen's uh, off. Hold on, let me fix that. It's like a uh, bit to screen. There we go. Um, yeah, if you guys want epic YouTube content, type in Super Mario T on YouTube. Kaboom. I love Ice Soup. Uh-oh. Is this, is, is this an Ice Soup kind of direct? Uh-oh. Um. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Tyler, I was not checking Discord because uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the late bird, and I figured since I stream, I might as well stream it, right? Because... Uh, I'm a late bird, so I ain't even getting no worms. Anyway, so like I said, the two things I've been spoiled on, Mario Party I know is coming, and I'm pretty sure Ace Attorney Investigation games are coming, right? Um, but anyway, but that's it. Yeah, I'm listening and learning. Oh, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. Oh, right, guys, let's go. Let's go. Guys, Mario Odyssey 2. Luigi without his hat on! My bingo sheet! Is it? <laughs> Guys, I don't want to go crazy! This looks like Mario and Luigi. I like the art style. And that is Mario and Luigi right there. Galeem! World of Light! Did it boom? Is this a remake? This can't be a remake. Oh wait, that looks really dope. It, oh my, this looks really dope. This looks really dope.
Why am I halfway in? It's because this is uh, like an hour long because I hit like the 30 minute wait on it. I, 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 I like, here's the thing is I went on their YouTube channel and I was really scared to scroll. I was really scared to scroll to find if there was like a cut direct because, uh, because like there was uh what's it called? I was scared to go further because like they post all their trailers right away usually. So I was like, this is the direct I'm watching this one. This art style is super cute, it is. It looks like their cover art, art style, but like in-game now. Like, this is what they always look like on the cover art, IMO. And the animations are so nice in this game. I mean, because this is a Switch game, right, obviously, compared to most of the other Mario Luigi's. So, like, technically, this is a step up in terms of... This is, like, a step up in terms of what, uh... <laughs> this is a step up from like what their normal hardware is right so this is pretty neat this is pretty neat um i honestly did not think that I, I i don't know maybe i'm crazy i did not think that this game was gonna like like this series was gonna come back maybe it'll be co-op i don't know i mean i think that was just showing mechanics that are normally available in mario and luigi i don't think it would be co-op well, I don't know, did I miss anything that seemed crazy? I thought, like, I thought that looked pretty standard for a Mario and Luigi game. Like, I feel like if these games were co-op, it would be, like, less fun. Um, or, or like, I don't know, like, because there'd be, like, points where, like, people are, like, you know, like, there, there's points where you're, like, okay, now you wait here, and I'm gonna go do something. I honestly, maybe I, may, I don't know, maybe I was too fascinated by what, like, everything, but, but, like, I don't think it should be co-op. Yeah, two brothers, one controller. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't think co-op is happening, but... Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today. Well, that's what I'm saying, is, like, if you, when you play... The, the whole point is that you play both of them, right? That's kind of the point of the game. Yo, hi, hi. Hold on. Nintendo Direct. I don't want to become stalling Andy. That was the first new entry. This does Mario look really good. In like, nine years. that animation right there, the jumping one, is so good. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across Oh, Brothership, because they're on a, a, a sea ship. Or like a, like, you know? Like a, like a, weird. Okay. Let's see the first batch of headlines. All right, let's see the first batch. I did a really bad job at making a ship. The championships home. Oh, this is the or champion collection, go. right? We knew about this. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speed-running challenges from across 13 NES games, from lightning-fast feats to action-packed battles. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. This game is kind of neat, but we already knew about this. Aim for the so. top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Um. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Oh, that shit, Brothers, the Tale of Two Sons, Scout true. On a legend challenge? Check out classified information for handy Yo, classified. to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode. Where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. Yeah, that would be neat. That would be neat, Chelsea. Players will be eliminated. You've only got but also, I think the thing survive. is that this is kind of like a neat collector's item. Because I think, aren't they doing like a limited physical run? Nintendo where it's going to have like epic cartridge? But I feel like that's kind of part of it. Like they want to have like a cool collectible part of it. Yeah, because he digital pre-orders. But I think the physical shit is going to be dope. Yeah, there it is. I think that's the real thing. Is they want to sell that. Which I guess they could just sell an in-case one and then also have it on the expansion pack but the final uh, battle no way what is oh, wait hold up guys i maybe this is just fairy tale maybe this is just fairy tale but i thought this was sasuke versus fucking fairy tale i thought that was sasuke but maybe that's just fairy tale about to begin maybe that's just fairy tale <laughs> i thought it was sasuke bro his name is Natsu. Dude, I thought it was, I thought it was Sasuke. I was like, no, it was this fairy tale. Wait, no way. Fairy tale 2. They did it. Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. 
Engage in real time battles. Well, okay. I know I didn't get hyped. I yeah, band for band. You want to go band for band on this? Well, dude, the reason wait, this is Xenoblade. Wait, guys, why is this just deep Xenoblade? Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. Wait, Nick is going band for band for this. No, no, which don't get it twisted. Liking Fairy Tale is a red flag, but I was the reason I popped off is because I thought it was Sasuke versus like Fairy Tale Man, and I was like, wait, that's really fucking funny. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was really like I thought it was like gonna be Jump Force like three or some shit, despite not having a two. Yeah, that's exactly it, Tyler. I thought it was Naruto versus Fairy Tale. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> that's funny. On a multi-dimensional journey. From Final Fantasy series creator Wait. Hironobu Sakaguchi. Wait. And composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn-based RPG Fantasia. Yo, they're on their Fantasia shit at Square Enix. Slowly being robbed of its civilization. To restore his memories, Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. Unknown enemy. Winning battles. Adjust a skills trajectory. Wait, is this the game Spock was telling us about? Wait, is this the game Spock was telling us about? Where it has the diorama, the backgrounds? Yeah, that's so funny. No, I think you're you might be right, Hector. This looks like what I looked up. Oh wow, Spock. That's neat. Enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. The more enemies there are. Spock, you were onto something. You were onto something bringing that game up. Let them go. Now, let us save the world together. Yes, yeah, Spock will into existence. Launches on Nintendo Switch. Yes, yeah, Spock was Spock was saying he played it on arc like uh, Apple Arcade, and he brought it up in. The sport is coming. Guys, we're going back. Guys, we're going back in. The Switch Sports Arc is never over. Into Spoko Square. Basketball? Yo, fucking surely one ball in. Guys, surely one ball in. Nintendo Switch Sports Game. And shoot. In two on two matches using motion controls. Guys, surely one ball in. Try out three-point challenge solo and score as many baskets as you can within the time limit. Up to four players can also compete in five. It's kind of awesome. I mean, I don't know. I haven't gone back to this the game in a while. Play. You can team up with players worldwide. Lucor, have you? Lucor, this game's been out for so long. This is what it's always looked like. This game is peak. This game is freaking peakity peakington. This is old Shorely One. Old Shorely One would grind this shit. This free update for Nintendo I, I would stream this and we would do like basketball and shit. Yeah, it's freaking Batches, dude. Yeah, you might be able to use the Miis, but they still look a little like weird because they're not like meant to be the ones in the game or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rocket League in that game? Yeah, the soccer. What is this? Is this uh, Midna? Does that Was that Midna? She's getting Twilight Princessified or something? For the new Zelda remake? Risk of Rain 3. Yeah, see, that's what I'm surprised about, Chelsea. So I don't know what they're cooking. Oh, it's little Glebo. Oh, it's little Glebo Debo. Oh, it's Walking Simulator. Oh, that's Walking Simulator that's going to use fucking... Uh, I don't know. City ass uh, combat. This is this is milk song. Oh shit! Not the milk song. Glebo and the will of the wiz. So true. Mio, Mio. Sorry, sorry. Any uh, one of T three bro twos or just me? Classics. Wait, I don't know why I said bro too. None of them are Noah. Into a new update for Disney Illusion Island. Whatever. Monarch, All right, this shit is Disney games, I guess. Solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help in the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monarch. Bro, still kind of works, I guess, a little bit, but. Throughout the world, 
Then use the dashboard to crack each case. None of them are who, don't worry about it. Eyes at the end. Start sleuthing because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. You guys hopping on? You guys hopping on that or what? Yo. Adventures no, no flipping way. Hold up. It could be peak. Customize your character. No way. I get to make my own Glebo? Friend Hello Kitty. Karomi and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. Team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when this is Apple Arcade. The Island Adventure launches this as a timed console <laughs> exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system. This game does look really funny. That, that does look really funny. Let's no, no fucking way, Mario Strikers with Looney Tunes. In this wacky sports game. Oh, it's basketball. Play is Bugs Bunny. Okay, it's Daddy basketball. Dog, Wait, no, it's both. Oh, it's sports collection. Arcade style sports. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four. Oh wait, so yeah, they got everything. But watch out for falling anvils. Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports crashes onto Nintendo. <laughs> I don't know. This fall. It, it does not. It does not so, look as good. It, it didn't. Oh wait, I was really excited at first, but it does seem like it's. It, my problem is, is when they do like a sports game where they play have multiple sports, so you're usually more bare bones, right? So. That's my concern. Meeting. No way. New crewmate and imposter roles are being added. The noisemaker, the phantom. Alert others when eliminated as a noisemaker. Plant tracking devices on others as a tracker. Or yeah, multiverse sports mix. So true. As a phantom. Among us. Sus things out. When Sus the things out. For Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Switch later today. A monster army is at your command. Wait. A monster army. This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten of Farmagia must. Hey, why is this? Oh, because the character designs by the guy who does fairy tales. Is that it? The underworld. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus's army. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hector, I I recognize it now. And harvest them to make your the picture made it seem really epic, and then they like showed the gameplay. Yeah, welcome to the world of police Navidad. Here you. Give commands to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action-packed combat. By making noise make a roll when I had to scream real loud in VC when I died. Can't say you're not supposed to be in VC. When you play Among Us. Or I guess like you are, but like not like you're not supposed to be screaming when you die. Grow up. Grow up. November first. Donkey Kong Country returns. Originally released on the. We fucking did it. We fucking did it, guys. We fucking did it. We flipping fucking did it, guys. Literally, I beat Donkey Kong Country 3. Donkey Kong Country Returns is so fucking back, baby. The system is barreling onto Nintendo Switch. I fucking HD. summoned it. The villainous Tiki Tak tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana horde. <laughs> That is dope. Obstacles in the way. It just stop. Literally could not have lined up better. Literally could not have lined up better. Well, actually, we got to see when it comes out though. Tonight, tonight, tonight. And roll on through. Each level. Yeah, now make it twenty dollars. But they're no match for these top bananas. Top bananas. From manic minecarts. To high flying rocket barrels. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. I'll be going backwards. Why is this? I guess we'll see. Pass a Joy Con controller to a buddy for two player local co op. I guess we'll see the release. The levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Oh, nice. That's neat. 
So true, Chelsea. Ooh. Ooh. Is that... Oh, okay, okay. The announcement was perfect, but they needed to shadow drop it. That's what they really should have done, was they needed to shadow drop it. Um, well, I guess not, maybe not shadow drop. They could have dropped it next week, because this week is, is, is Erd Tree time. But... Neat. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong that was really neat. Returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next. Yeah, Tommy, no spoilers. Tommy, no spoilers. Please take a look at this. But that's neat that they Donkey. I thought they're gonna announce a second Donkey Kong game, but this doesn't look like Donkey Kong. I, I like. I thought he was like. That's Donkey Kong's new uh, old adventure. <laughs> Fucking here. Wait a minute. Who's up, Goon and they shit? Boom. You love to see it. Journey with Ally. To face the arch fiend. That wonderful music. On an epic adventure. Memorable encounters. Perplexing challenges. This is a perplexing sword, I guess. And formidable monsters. Ah, it looks really nice. It looks really nice. An iconic RPG remade in mm -hmm. HD. Mwah. It, it looks so good. It looks so good. Bro, Nick, that's because in Smash Bros, that's Hero, bro. They don't know who Dragon Quest is. If his name was Dragon Quest, they'd be like, Smash Bros! But, bro, they didn't know who Hero... They don't know where Hero came from. They thought that was, like, like, like a superhero. The legacy begins. Uh, Dragon Quest 3. It looks pretty HD good. Do we got a release date? Coming to Nintendo Switch, November 14th. Honestly, after not hearing about this game 5 ever, I'm surprised it's this year. That's pretty neat though. That's pretty neat. I I actually might want to cop that. But oh wait. No flipping way, bro! <laughs> no flipping way. The complete Erdrick trilogy. Wow. 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 That. Wow. So they're doing one and two in a. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. This is one title, right? So one and two are going to be in the same game, right? That's actually. This is like really neat. Oh, the order of the games is 3-1-2? Neat, okay. Oh, that's so neat, that's so neat. Uh, that's, that's really dope. That's really dope. Nintendo Direct, Hi! Konnichiwa, Hori Yuji desu. Dragon Quest 3 no eizou, ikaga deshita ga? Yuyaku hatsubai biu hapkyo dekite, boku mo ureshi ko moimasu. Octopath, but good? First off, let's just clarify something. Let's just clarify something. They did HD2D because they're trying to copy Octopath. That's all I'm saying. How come Octopath did it first? So, today,今日、サプライズで発表したドローンクエスト1&2も、HD2D で読み上げることが決定しました。時系列としては、3が、あ、ブレイスマルト、あと、どちらも、どちらも、どちらも、どちらも、どちらも、どちらも、どちらも、
great Scott. Is that Marty McFly? The world of Wait, show me Freddy Fazbear. To life in this action yeah, Freddy Fazbear! Woohoo! Play with more than 60 characters as you explore locations based on over 20 iconic movies, TV shows, and more. Use special Yo, they're at the pizzeria. Gadgets to explore epic worlds. Freddy each Fazbear. With their own unique puzzles, hidden areas, and familiar foes. Dinosaurs from Jurassic World and Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. They're certainly not toying around. Unbox the universe when Funko Fusion pops onto Nintendo Switch. Intuitively. We've got a smorgasbord oh. of spooky, oh. silly, oh, and strategic big. games. Oh, and strategic. Fire Emblem Meat and Fuck. Ready for an adventure of uh, we knew about this. foolish proportions? Summon your courage Hello? and explore multiple mansions filled with goofy ghosts, <gasps> tricky traps, and other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Meet the quirky little Dempa Man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful <laughs> RPG adventure. Yeah, big day for Hector. Explore dungeons and battle monsters. I know Hector's eating this shit up. All sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like. And more. Big day for Plus, Chelsea the four too. Players in local co-op can team up to catch special Dempa Man. <laughs> the new Dempa Man is free to play and launches free to play? exclusive on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. Strategize Wait a minute. In this tower defense install. Oh, okay. I was like, bro, what the fuck? A new metal slug? Take control of your forces and pulverize enemy strongholds. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities and build out your decks to win tactical tussles. You yeah, poor stream like a free to play game on the table. Players in online battles. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. Later today, let's go! Embark on an expedition. Darkest Dungeon 2? In this eagerly awaited Boom. sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Check Phil there, Chelsea. It's gonna take more than that to impress me. Turn based combat. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. More classic titles are on the way. Hold up. Hold up. Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons. We already uh, beat this game, though. A link to the past four swords. New playthrough? Is, wait, wait. Is this different from the one we played? Is this different from the one we played? Is Four Swords Anniversary different from this one? Or is this the one we played? Because this looks like the one we played. Oh, if they are different, then yeah. I mean, uh, you know what? I'll hop on. I'll hop on for tradition. Experience the remake of Samus' first adventure in Metroid. It should be the same. See, it looked the same. Plus... Coming to the new Nintendo 64. No way. Switch online mature Conquers? Plus collection of games. Oh, Turok, okay. Brave the dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. Neat. And. Conquers. Oh, perfect dark. Infiltrate a corporation to end their alien conspiracy in. Perfect Dark. Now with online multiplayer. Yo, online multiplayer. That's kind of funny. All four games will be available for Nintendo Switch online. Oh, nice. Expansion pack members later today. Yeah, you know, I the, Nick, that was the I don't know why that was the only thing coming to my mind when they said seven like mature fucking Nintendo online. It was my first thought was Conquers both times. Like I, I don't know. I'm surprised that's not what they're announcing. 
Set sail to save the day. This is like, uh, I don't know. I know this game. It looks familiar. This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. I will take all of this girl. Join her oh, this is this guy? Okay, that's why it looked like familiar. Oh, it's not this guy? Okay. In this new installment in the Phantom Braves. Oh, maybe I don't know this. Maybe it's just the same art style. Take on tactical turn-based battles. Where you'll combine the phantoms you befriended with objects in various ways. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Same boo, different one. To attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine with Morona herself. Yo, this shit is Dragon Ball Fusions. Can turn the tide of battle. Phantom Brave, the lost hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. <laughs> so true, Spock. This one's gonna take no way, no flipping way, bro. There is no way. Are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash in X Men versus. Oh, but what about Marvel Two? Okay, okay, they. That's crazy. Take down the Kingpin and the beat 'em up side scroller, the Punisher, and more. Wait, 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 hold up. What do we got? Oh, this is this is actually yeah. Who's ready to play this one time? True, true. I'm ready to play this one time. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. This is pretty flippin' neat. Or play co-op in the Punisher. Yeah, he's trying to play Punisher with me. So cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music from each game. Boom. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on this year. This year. Really interesting. Very interesting. What the hell? Oh, Mario Party, right? Yeah, welcome to Bigger Boulder Mario Party, okay. The latest game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party minigames yet in... Ooh, biggest selection? Mario Party Wait a minute. Three. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Y listen, you should have taken this title. You should have taken this title and fucking threw it out the window. I'm already... I'm already doubting this because it's called Super Mario Party, but let's see. Let's see. First, let's see some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria. Use in-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale, but act fast. Ride yeah, Ninji's a character, that's cool. In Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice item, you can move up to 40 spaces. Max, let's just get real. No one gives a fuck about Diddy Kong. Shut up. With a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, Ooh. two boards from previous models. Oh, oh my god, it's the Western, Western land. It's fucking peak. Return. Some mini games are action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking or Oh, more, more, yeah, more motion controls is actually dope. With over 110 mini games, I like motion control mini games. Enjoy. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head. What the hell, Fall Guys? Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, 
<laughs> Bro, Donkey Kong's in the game, and Donkey Kong's a good monkey. Diddy Kong's a stupid-ass motherfucker no one cares about. Just grow up. Just grow up. If they put Kitty Kong in this game, then I'd feel... Listen, Kitty Kong's never been in a Mario Party game. Let's get the facts straight. That guy needs to be in Mario Party before Diddy Kong, because that guy carried an entire video game on his back, whereas Diddy was always riding someone's coattails. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway. When the Super Mario Party Jamboree Holy shit, October. On the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. Then they had characters post release? I don't remember that. I don't think so. Tommy, don't even answer shit in the chat because you don't none you don't know it got no updates. Bro, the game got online in an update. Are you stupid? This is why I say don't answer shit, Tommy. Someone send that guy a warning and tell him to fucking think a little before answering questions that he doesn't know anything about because he's a stupid motherfucker. Um, I think this looks cool. I think it does look cool, but the fact that they gave it the Super Mario Party name worried me really bad. Um, I don't know. It, it worried me because it was Super Mario Party, right? Um, because that game was kind of, it, 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 like, you know, we talked about it before. It's kind of a boo -womp, but kind of whatever. Um... I don't think they say if the main boards have online. Bro, if they don't give this game online, they are fucking stupid, Tin. And I'm not buying it. That was the latest installment in the Mario Party series. Ted, if that shit doesn't have online, I'm not buying that shit. It's as simple as that. Super Mario Party Jamboree. With new boards, mini games, 20 player online gameplay and more get ready for the biggest mario party in series hold up hold up what, what did you just say what did bro just say hold up hold up what did bro just say i need a 20 player oh i know he mentions 20 player online get ready for the biggest mario party in series history biggest mario party please take if this is the biggest mario party in series history it better fucking have online take a look at this let's take a look at this What the hell? Link? Breath of the Wild! But it's peak! See, this is... This is what Tommy wanted. Tommy, look. Here you go, Tommy. This is Breath of the Wild. See, look. It's Breath of the Wild Link. But they made him 2D. This is exactly what you wanted. You always say the old Zelda games are better, Tommy. This is Breath of the Wild if it was good. Tom hey, Tommy, if you're not pogging out the fucking wazoo for this, you're a fake-ass fan. I already don't like this game. Oh, wait, here's the thing about Tommy. Tommy's like, I hate Breath of the Wild. I hate Tears of the Kingdom. They're too different from original Zeldas. Oh, here's original Zelda. Anyway, it's ass. Ugly ass art style? Oh, bro hates art styles that are good. My bad. Sorry, it doesn't look like DNF Duel, so... Uh, it doesn't look like DNF Duel, so I guess Tommy can't like it. Is that Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom? Is this a new game? Is this not a remake? Hello everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. This is new. Really? What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Link has now, vanished? It's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. No, no, Hector, more like, more like Fire Emblem fancy echoes, and it's not, it's not for Fire Emblem echoes. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new game. No, she'll fight with magic! Kaboom. Past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have These appeared. games are ugly and the and art style is shit. Someone send that guy a fucking warning. People, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. 
By waving the tri-rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Wait a minute. Once you learn an echo of but something, if it's you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking Yeah, she learned the Breath of the Wild hood. Echoes of tables to get a leg up. But I kind of like this. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. Yeah, I kind of like that, Nick. Them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. <laughs> Not the bed like like staircase. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's Ted, is this an Im Sim? <laughs> you can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. It's gonna be peak, but I'm opening with Wisdom placing tables got me despair. Wait, why? That shit was Dark Souls 3, like, that was rapport right there. That's gonna love this game. In a high rule without Link. Oh, oh, because they were, oh, oh, because they said, uh. Oh, sorry, I missed your other message. You finally play as a woman, decorate? Okay, gotcha. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't Yo, Gordo. them all yet. How you solve puzzles Me copying rupees for infinite money? ...depending on the Echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. This looks very neat, though. Zelda, I like this. Wisdom, like, I, I might want to play this game. It looks, it looks really cool. A Nintendo Switch Lite system Yo, of Zelda that is dope. Also be available at launch. That is dope. I'm not like a Zelda fan, but that's dope. Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. She better have an allowance. She's a princess. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda. Yeah, it does suck. It's only a Switch Lite, right? Let's see a few more headlines. Yeah, guys, it's gonna be like fucking. It's gonna be like Tears of the Kingdom or, or Breath of the, like. Or I guess I didn't really stream Breath of the Wild, but like Tears of the Kingdom. Where I'm just gonna build like a bed ladder like to the final boss or whatever, and like jump into uh, jump into like Ganon's window or some shit. Breath of the Wild got the OLED, but like that shit looked really cool. That shit is really cool, in my opinion. Like, I, I don't think the Breath of the Wild one was that cool in my in my onion, but maybe that's just me. Um. Zelda won't copy rupees because it would mess up Hyrule's economy. Look look up Princess Zelda inflation to find out more. Let loose and party. Just dance! Wait, am I gonna get DMCA'd? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Hector. That's what I'm saying. I'll let it rock in case, like, something epic happens today. I don't want to skip ahead. Um. Yeah, you guys can just- you guys can just dance. Yo, Ariana Grande. I don't even know that one. Wait, can I put songs I know? <laughs> oh, yo, Poker Face, fucking uh, Fortnite Festival. You can skip, but, like, I don't want to skip too far ahead, you know what I mean? I might as well just let it rock for a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Yeah, girl in red on Just Dance, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, Just Dance has lore? Is that real? A new Lego adventure <laughs> okay, buddy. on the horizon. Okay, this ain't Summer Games Fest, grow up. It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. Join Machine Hunter Aloy on a quest to save Dude, the Dude, PlayStation world fans are in shambles right now. Journey through lush landscapes. Dive deep into the cauldrons. PlayStation fans are in shambles now because uh, their exclusives are on everything. Boom. By the original game. But yeah, Horizon on Switch, exactly. Heck, that's what I'm saying. Lurking everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity. PlayStation be like, we have the best exclusives. 
bro the grow up. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the bat chest, Max. Thank, thanks for the bat chest. The fearsome thunder jaw. As you progress, <laughs> you can help Aloy rebuild her home. Mature 64 is a separate app. I that makes sense, Chelsea. Because um, you know, like in terms of rating and stuff, I think they would either need to update the old one to be mature, and I don't think they want that, right? They want it so that yes, exactly, parental controls, yeah. Otherwise, the main one would be marked as mature, and then it's like, you know. And then people are going to be like, wait, you can't play Nintendo 64 because that shit's mature. Oh, notice how the guy who's been calling everything ass is now like, wait, here's peak when it's literally just like walking simulator. <laughs> Experience a decaying cyber city. You can skip? This isn't even like this is just the original game on Switch, right? Explore alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest height. Create new paths for yourself. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Stray but poop graphics true. To make your way through the city. I forgot you hate fun, Lucor. You're the one who was shitting on like every other game in the direct that looked like it might have been the most fun game of all time. Giant emotes are so fun. I'm glad you're having fun. Areas of this unfamiliar world, and make your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Welcome home, Hobbit. Yeah, the game for Ted. If you've ever wanted to live like a hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, now a leisurely existence nestled away in an <laughs> corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into Big life day in for shopping. Ted. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a meal or three. Explore. Garden, fish, That's true, Lucor. You're you're like the, the number one Mario fan, I know. Is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals. Hobbit feet? Wait, were there hobbit, hobbit feet? Oh, there the are hobbit feet. Wait, wait Chelsea, I'm gonna need to get this game. Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo Switch system this holiday. Investigate, interrogate, <laughs> is he? Checkmate. You know. See, I knew about this one. This one was a little bit spoiled for me. Two Ace Attorney spin off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. Oh, that's Chef Man saying these are garbage, awful games. Damn. Take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes. Gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence. Then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer, or swap to the original oh, for a more classic look. I like that. Take a break from your investigation to explore the gallery, where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral Ooh. arrangements, and more. Ooh. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection. That's neat, Launches and it's soon. Switch, September 6th. Well, like soonish, you know. Today. That's oh, neat. That's shot. neat. Persona 6. Dangerampa 6. This is Dangerampa. Don't lie to me, guys. This is Dangerampa. Hanakuma. After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then the last the defense academy. Danger Rampa, along with 15 other students. It's Danger Rampa. 
Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. An academy shrouded in secrecy and the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this 100-day trial? Wait, what if it's peak? Extreme and despair and return to his normal life? The creators of Danganronpa. Okay, there it is. The hundred line last of there it the is. Academy, there's the there's the what's it called? The, <laughs> from the creators of Danganronpa. They took a while. They're edging it. I mean, listen. I mean, wait, listen. I don't know. The the part that has me interested is they said that you can lose allies, and I saw like like uh what's it called? I saw like tactical like you know uh tactics based gameplay. I don't know, guys. If, what if it is peak? Switch early next year. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check on it. You know. Embark on a saga spanning generations. Yeah, saga these fucking nuts, bitch. Kaboom. A full remake of Romancing Saga Two is. Yeah. Well, Nick. Here's the thing: is I kind of have like a certain like like I don't know. There, there's like a certain degree of it, you know. So I hope it's. I hope it's like actually good and not like more focused on the other shit, you know. I hope it's actually like focused on the gameplay because that seems dope. Because it's like a hundred days of battles, you know. Like I'm down for that. That sounds neat. But um, I wonder if they'll have any to lore tie into Bang around. But I don't. I, I don't know. It, it seemed like they were like. I don't know. Is there like a licensing issue with Danganronpa? Because it seems like they wanted it to be Danganronpa because they were like despair. You're at the last defense school. You're with 15 other students like this and that. But they wouldn't like, you know, so I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be like Danganronpa. Like it seems almost like they're trying to like rip off Danganronpa without having the Danganronpa name. Oh, it's a different studio. Well, that would make sense then. Marching on to Nintendo Switch. Yo, so true, Ted. Oh, wait, this actually looks neat. Rule and expand the empire of Varen across multiple generations. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense, Jeff, man. Seven heroes. I mean, that's why I thought it was saying a romper, right? It's because the art style. In combat, use returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills. Indubitably. She was like, Bazinga. Urethra. Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Nice. I like that. I like timelines. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Oh, this looks kind of neat. Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. This game could be peak. I don't know, guys. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga it could be peak. Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo Switch mm. October 24th. Mm. Another October game. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Mario Odyssey 2. Kept you waiting, huh? Pikmin! Wait, this is a uh, Metroid! 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 Holy shit, did they actually have a Prime 4? Or is this gonna be like fake out? Is this like something actually a different Metroid game? Hold up, hold up. I don't know enough about Metroid to know if this is Prime 4 or not. It could, it could just be Prime 2, like remake. This is probably Prime 4. If they're ending with it, it's gotta be Prime 4, right? This has gotta be Prime 4. I thought Pikmin, yeah, I thought that, I, but it said Federation or whatever, and that's obviously more Metroid than it is, uh, more Metroid than it is, uh, Pikmin. She's fighting the Covenant. But that's because you're Gen Z Master Chief and would never fight them, so now now Samus has to. Dark Samus! I 
That's pretty neat. Beyond! Wait, do the other primes have subtitles? Wait. Is this also Prime 4? Hold up. Hold up. Oh no, 2025, okay. That was a first. Oh, okay, they did. Metroid Prime 4. See, I was like, I was like, this is Metroid Prime 4 Beyond because they forgot they didn't release the base game and now they're going Beyond. Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025, so please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. Dark Samus. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, and one more thing. Fire Emblem, Meet and Fuck Kingdom. Bing! Wait, he forgot it. Wait, Hector. He forgot to... Wait, Hector. Can you link me to the real Direct that has... Fire Emblem, Meet and Fuck Kingdom? Hector, I think you sent... I think I have the wrong Direct. <laughs> Wait, they forgot the Tears of the Kingdom DLC they said they wouldn't do. You're so real for that, Ted. You're so real for that. Um. Anyway, uh, I think that was a good direct. I honestly, there's a couple things in there that were definitely... uh. But like, oh wait, Donkey Kong Return? Donkey Kong Country Returns is pretty fucking hype. IMO. Um, yeah, they forgot the Zelda movie trailer. Don't worry, that one's still cooking. Wait, hold on. Now I'm so curious what people are saying about... Um... Well, Sean said the most hype announcement was Fairy Tale 2. That you're right. I should have never. I should have never. I should have never checked the fucking um the the Smash chat. Bro said the best announcement was Fairy Tale 2. Are you insane, bro? Chelsea, I'm about to invite you to the server so you can like kill him. He was actually thinking about that direct. It wasn't so bad. Uh, ugh. Bad direct me thinks. Bro, die. Bro, die. Hold up. I just got, like, I gotta reply to this guy right now. Like, I, I just gotta reply to this guy. Like, I, I hate this guy. You were right. Like, like literally never checking that shit. Never checking that shit. Ugh. Um. Yeah, no, I think that was a good direct. Like, like, honestly, a donkey, co like, yeah, overall the direct exceeded my expectations. I think so, too. Um, there were some new games in there. Like, the Romancing Saga 2 remake actually looked hype. Um, like, I might want to check that out. The new Zelda game seemed hype. Like, somehow they got me, like, on board with a Zelda game. Um, which is kind of crazy. Mario and Luigi, yeah, is hype. Um, MVC, yeah, MVC, that was a huge one, right? They just kind of were like, anyway, here's MVC, like, fucking collection, pretty much. That was crazy. Um, uh, yeah, New Mario and Luigi, obviously hype. Um, I don't know, there's, you know, one thing I will say, I'm the biggest Zelda fan, I know, I know I am, I just like to pretend I'm not. Um, hold on, let me just change my title and then we boot up Sekiro, I just want to say I'm not watching the Direct anymore. Um, I think that, the, the, honestly, the biggest downside, and I, I know Luke is going to agree with me on this one, I think the biggest downside is a lot of the games in there I was interested in are JRPGs. Um, and my problem with that is that they're going to be fucking, like, multi-five million hour long games. I know Hector will, or not Hector, uh, Luke will agree for a different reason, but, but, um, yeah, no, I, I, I just, like, you know, when there's too many JRPGs coming out, it's like some of them gotta bite the bullet and like just not get played by me ever.
<laughs> yeah, which you got Hello Kitty. Wake up! Which you forgot Hello Kitty. But yeah, I, I think this is one of the first times a Zelda announcement actually seemed to, like I looked at the footage for a Zelda announcement. I was like, wait, that looks cool. I mean, Tears of the Kingdom was kind of like that. Like, their new abilities and stuff in Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I really thought the weapon crafting and stuff was neat, right? No, no, I, I, no, I guess Tears of the Kingdom did count, right? But, like, it wasn't... It, I don't know. You know, I guess you're right. No, I guess you're right. So, second time. You know, I guess I'm a Zelda fan now. I guess I'm a, I guess I'm a Zelda fan now. Um, You know? And I like when they do their little, like, kind of, like, offshoot games that are not really, like, uh... You know, because, like, I don't know, that, that that doesn't seem like a mainline Zelda. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe fucking Ganondorf comes back and that shit's going to turn into, like, Ocarina of Time. 4D or some shit. But. Table Maker Sim, bro. This is a spiritual successor to Deus Ex. Let's fucking go. <laughs> that was, this box said, is this an M-Sim, Ted? I, I, I don't know if I saw Ted's response, but I hope he said yes. But yeah, no, I I think that was a very good direct, guys. Like I I don't know, and oh, I just have to say, I have to say, the the Mario and Luigi was like, like that shit looked great because I, I don't know if you guys were cooking what I'm cooking. It like the art style they're using in game looks like what they always use for the box art. Like I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, like that. Welcome back, Arcane Studios. You say you count that as mainline? Well, the, um, I don't know. I, I, I'm just not sure because, like, it seems, like, sort of, like, spin-off-y, but maybe I'm just tripping balls. Um, because it doesn't seem to, like, follow their main format, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it was just because they were showing off the new mechanic a lot. You know, Marvel's, like, a huge announcement. They're just like, here, let's slide this in here. Um, everyone better buy it. Guys, Hit everyone hit Twinkie with the uh, Shorely One pleading. Everyone hit Twinkie with Shorely One pleading. <laughs> this is how they fund a new one, Hector. See, this goes back. This goes back to way back in the day. When Hector, when Hector was like, if you guys buy the, the Capcom collection, they'll make a new Darkstalkers. And Hector, now it's your time. Hector, now it's your time to, 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 to pay up. Welcome to fighting games, Hector. Welcome to fighting games. Kaboom. Um. When are we starting Four Swords? Ted. Oh, wait, Ted. Fucked up that you wouldn't include me. But Ted, isn't it just, it... It's the game we played. You and me played that. Well, you, me, and Hector and Jaden played that one already. Unless you guys want to replay it. In which case, I guess... Whatever, but... Four Swords, Triforce Heroes, and the random, like, crossbow training. Gotcha, okay. I'm cautiously optimistic for Mario and Luigi. It just looked really good. Obviously, like, we didn't see too much, but the art style was nice. The animations were great, and, like, I don't know. It it it, it, it gives me the, like, like the Mario and Luigi vibe, like, the Mario and Luigi games. Um, like, the Mario and Luigi games just have such good vibes, you know what I mean? So, like, seeing all that stuff was really, like, seeing it was just really nice. You know what I mean? Um... Like, I think, uh, what's it called? I think just, like, seeing, like, I don't know, like, like it, it just looked nice, so, it, like, I don't know, I'm already excited for it, because it, 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 like, and like I said, I don't know, the art style looks really nice, because it looks like what they always try to do with the box art, like, the box art had, like, that nice, like, shading on it, and that's kind of what they did in-game now, which is neat. Um. Oh, gotcha, I gotcha, Spock. Well, it could always be the same devs, right? Just under a different, like, team, I guess, or whatever? I don't know. Um...
And you hate Zelda? What do you mean, bro? I, I'm Zelda's greatest fan. Um. I don't know. Although, I don't know if I would want to replay it. I don't know if I would want to replay it. So, I don't know. In that case, you're right. In that case, you're correct. But if you guys wanted to play with, like, Max and... Well, I, I think Nick also said he wasn't super excited. So, if you guys wanted to play with, like, Max and Chelsea or whatever... For the for the replaying, I don't know. Because I, I don't think I would... I, I don't know. If it, if it is just the same game, I don't know if I want to replay it. But... Um... You know. I don't remember it at all? Damn, Teddy, you're a fake-ass fan, dude. I remember we fought Vati, like, the guy who makes videos. Um, and that was pretty exciting for me, because that guy's, like, my greatest enemy. So fighting Vati Vidya was pretty, was, like, the highlight for me. Um. Yeah, yeah, Paper Mario, uh, and, and uh, what's it called? And Mario and Luigi are relevant again. It is kind of crazy, right? It is a little crazy. But, it's neat, it's neat. I honestly, like, I, like Mario and Luigi was, like, the last thing I was expecting, and then they opened with it. That was kind of crazy. Anyway, uh, send me back. Put me in. Put me in, coach. No fucked up sky stage. I kept falling off. <laughs> um. All right, where where were we at? Where were we, Mister John Sekiro? Where were we? Um. No, it wasn't that, right? Um. 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 Where? Where are we? Wait, hold up. Did I? Do we have, uh, where, where the lore at? You got lore for me? Yeah, me and Spock were just talking about, uh, Superstar Saga last night. And even then, I didn't even think that, I, I didn't even think it was possible to announce a new paper, or a new Mario Luigi. Um... But yeah, I, I've been, I've been, uh... I've been, like, dicing up. I kinda wanna play... Um, I kind of want to play, um, what's it called? I kind of want to replay Superstar Saga, but I know it's going to be, like, fairly long, and it's a, a game I, you know, it, it would definitely be a replay, because I definitely remember some parts of it, but not all of it. I just woke up to Marvel ports, yeah. South Park game on Freaky 64 before Conquer. I mean, honestly, I feel like a lot of things might show up before Conquer. I, I just, I saw N64 and Mature and thought Conquer, right? But I don't know if they're, I, I honestly don't know if they would because of, like, I don't know. Because it's still a problem with Rare and stuff, right? Uh, Four Swords is Legend of Zelda Four Swords. I played it, Twinkie. It was not as bad as you might think, but it was, it was alright. Yo, what's up, Zayla? You missed a direct. Zayla, Donkey Kong Country Returns is real. I don't know if you saw Donkey Kong Country Returns is real. They're they're putting it on Switch. Oh, you watched? Okay, I was watching on stream. You could have watched with me. Smile. Shortly when pleading, you could have watched with me. Um. Let me see. Did I miss anything? Yeah, DK64 release. That would have been funny too, right? But I think it's like it might be a rare thing where like rare will not let them have that shit. Ah, oh, you're at work. Gotcha. All good. Dorley called Diddy Kong ass and he sucks and he hates him. Yes, Zayla. Zayla, because, okay, Zayla, keep it real, keep it real. Listen, I love monkeys, right? It's Funky Monkey Friday, this and that, right? Monkeys are cool and all. But there's Donkey Kong, who's the fucking goat. 
There's Diddy Kong, who rides off his coattails. Then there's Dixie Kong, who overshadows Diddy Kong by a mile. And then there's Kitty Kong, who's the second coming of the Goatington himself. And you're going to tell me that Diddy Kong is the one you guys care about all of a sudden? You're going to tell me that all of a sudden you guys all care about Diddy Kong? When actually there's every other Kong is better? No, no, no. Diddy is not Zayla's second favorite. Zayla did not know... Zayla did not know about Kitty Kong. He has the hat. Bro, fucking grow up. When streamer plays return, he'll change. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Have you played Diddy Kong Racing? I have, but my ass wasn't playing Diddy Kong Racing to play Diddy Kong. I would just play one of the other characters. None of them are Swanky Kong. Cook. Let him cook. Well, Hector DK could be technically Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong. Indubitably. I'm main Diddy in Smash? Well, your ass is still going to get destroyed by me because, uh, and not in Smash Bros. Kaboom. Fantasy Life, October 10th. Indubitably, my good sir. Oh, I remember now. Um, we unlock the... What's it called? We unlock... Uh, what's it called? Infinite breathing or whatever, right? So now I can breathe really deep. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so now that I have deep breathing, I forgot where I go. But that does expand my options. Um, that's also true. Lucro does hate uh, Zayla. Yeah, we fit mains. Yeah, on my deep breathing shit a little bit. I forgot. Is it abandoned dungeon? Is that where I need to go? Maybe it is. Um, I'm just gonna be honest, Zayla, maining Diddy and Smash Bros. is not cool. Like, you're just not cool if you do that. I'm sorry. This is the area with La Cucarachas, bro, and I'm a little scared of that. Oh, oh! I'm fucking stupid. Anyway, die. Boom. If that motherfucker was important, he wouldn't have died in three hits. Hot take, if that guy was important, he wouldn't have died in three hits. Kaboom. The antagonist of the Prime Hunters. So he was in another game, right, Chelsea? Because he looked vaguely familiar. I'm gonna be honest, I literally could not see what was happening despite being, like, right in front of the water. I could not tell if that was water or not. Ty looks... I think he was in, like, uh... I think his name is, like... Or, like, I think he's in Smash Bros. through, like, a trophy or something. Or, like, a spirit, I mean. Or maybe a trophy in the older game. Because, like, that he seemed familiar, even though I... Despite not playing that game, but... Unless I knew it from my knowledge of Ted playing the game. <laughs> Twinkie, I'll cook you in the arena mode. Don't try me. Holy schmoly. I'm gonna be honest, my money's on Twinkie. It would be a little... I, I would be able to believe in Ted a little bit more if I've ever seen Ted be good at any video game ever. But, unfortunately, that's just not the case. Oh, why are you ghostly evildoer?
I beat all three Dark Souls games. Chefman, are Chefman, are you here at Chefman? Did you did you hear what this guy said? Chefman, let's have this guy take on shittier Madeir. If, if I never told him about fart build and we weren't carrying his ass, let's see this guy try to take down shittier Madeir without us and without fart build that I told him about. Me! Me! <laughs> I beat Dark Souls with Nintendo Mechanics, I know, I know. But you know I like to goof. You know I like to goon. <laughs> you! You! <laughs> the, you know, Ted, see that's, that's, I, Ted, I think that part... Um... I think that part makes me most proud of you. Is you, uh, you know the voice lines from the crows, and I think that makes me respect you more than most Dark Souls players already. You should do the monkey boost thing Lucor did? Wait, why? Um, I don't really remember what that does. Isn't that just extra lore, or am I crazy? I mean, I thought the monkey boots was extra lore. You get sloppy Sekiro head? Oh, indubitably. For the sake of Sekiro. Ow, ow, ow. Twinkie guided me to Sloppy. You know what the funny thing is? Is I think I gave them... I, I know Twinkie mentioned it earlier in the stream, and I think he said you could also give it to the Sculptor, and I think I gave it to the Sculptor, which is awesome. Ted, I think their names are Smooth and Silky, but I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure the Dark Souls 2 ones are just Smooth and Silky. Or no, wait, I think it's like Dinah and something else. I think it's Tina and Dinah or something like that? Dinah and Tilo, there you go. No, not Dinah and Blade, grow up. Yeah, that's true, Hector. There there are a lot of games stacked in October now. Like even be like before the direct there was already Sparking Zero and, and Metaphor, which are like two big ones. So you know, I think both of those are gonna be seventy dollars, right? It's Hawk Girl and DS1. I'm pretty sure DS1 is canon name is Snuggly. Um That's why she wants warm and soft. Because that shit makes you so snuggly. I would never in a million years call her Hawk Girl. That shit's like the, the hero, like the superhero or whatever. Santa isn't coming this year? Why not? What happened to Santa Claus? Is Santa Claus lost media?
Yo, bro's running. He wants the blowjob bros to notice. Try jumping, butthole. Guy's jumping like a boss. Nintendo boy told me he was gonna tell Santa to put me on the naughty list. What'd you do to Nintendo boy, Hector, that he said that? That no warm, that no soft. Um, dude, that's something Sekiro missed out on, is having the crows. They forgot that shit, they forgot to put Peek in the game. Ow. I'm telling Santa put you, to put you out. Oh, to put you down? Bro, I don't think Santa's supposed to do that. Were there crows in Bloodborne and Elden Ring? I don't think Bloodborne had crows because uh, that, that shit just had like evil crows that would try to kill you because they're freaky. Oh god. Um, and Elden Ring also does not have crows. Um, but, uh, what's it called? The Souls games do. Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1 through 3 have crows. There it is. Okay, I was like, I was like, I'm pretty sure there's a grapple point somewhere here. Well, yeah, Elden Ring also had evil crows. That's true. Um, so Bloodborne and Elden Ring had evil crows. The crows were compromised. I, I think, uh, I don't know, the crows, uh, like, I like the crows in Dark Souls 1 because they don't have anything, like, super crazy that you need, like, uh, oh, Lucor, hi, Lucor, boom, hi, Lucor, boom, um, what's it called, the, uh, White pinwheel, guys. Be wary of pinwheel. I forgot what that does. Oh, that's a, uh, you put that on your arm, right? That's your arm prosthetic or something? Like, uh, I think it makes one? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, I have no idea. Um. Oh, Nick, then I'm never beating the DLC. It's as simple as that. If the first boss is Pickle P, I'm not, I'm not doing the DLC. Snuggly the damned. I, then I, guys, then I'm not being the DLC. Um, that, it's as simple as that. If that happens, I'm not doing the DLC. Um. But in Dark Souls 1, like I was trying to say, um, in Dark Souls 1 and stuff, the, um, the crows were kind of like, um, they were like, they were just completely optional. Um, you didn't really need to, uh, I, I don't think they had, oh shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm not fighting the headless. Um, they were completely optional and like nothing super important was, uh, nothing super important was like, uh, hidden behind them whereas like i feel like in in two and three there were like some things that you did kind of want from them that were like more important and i'm like that's fucked up why would they why would they lock that behind the crows you know what i mean wait am i stupid how did i not get to that part because I, ne I need to go back down right because that's where i need to be and i don't think you can get here from this way I need to go back. Um, what if Possessed Snuggly eat an evil style like DS3 Gwendolyn? Fucking spoilers, Ted. But, uh... What's it called? If that's the case, then I'll have to save, uh... I'll have to save them. I'll have to put them out of their misery, you know what I mean? I don't want them to live in suffering and pain like that. Like what, Solaire set? Um, yes. To be quite frank, yes. Well, no, the problem with it was... To get the Solaire set. To get the Solaire shield. 
you need a grind, like a, a 1% drop from an enemy, and then trade it. I'm like, bro, what the flip? Ow. Whereas, like, DS1, you could get, like, extra upgrade materials from it and stuff like that, but you wouldn't, like, miss out on, like, cool stuff. And Dark Souls 2 had a weapon behind it that... Or I think it had two weapons behind it. Um. Oh, well, guys, for most no-hit runs in Souls games, uh, shields aren't allowed. That, that, that counts as getting hit in most Souls games. Oh, Ted, are you looking up the crows right now? And yeah, Petrified Something gives you, what's it called? You can get, like, the Demon Great Hammer really early, which is an awesome weapon. And Old Whip. I think Old Whip's from that, I think. And the Old Whip is also kind of good. Um... But yeah, in, um, I don't know if you got Lottie's Nova Boss hit stream yesterday, but she got stu so stuck on Renal, the stray books kept getting her, yeah. Um, I mean, most of the no hit runs of Souls games also rely on cheese strats for a lot of points of it, so, to be honest. So, I don't know. I don't know if Lottie's, like, researching no hit strats or not, but. That is true, Spock, that is true. Um, but I don't know, it, it, overall, in terms of Dark Souls 1, I feel like there's less stuff I want from it, unless I'm, like, trying to get upgrade materials or stuff. Um, but yeah, um, I know for no hit runs, they definitely don't count, sh or, or, like, shield hits do count, because you're getting, your shield's getting hit. Um, I think the only things they don't count is, like, DS2 has a spike pit that you can walk over and stuff. Or, like, environmental damage, like, fall damage, slash... If you die, if you die at any point, usually it doesn't count, except for, I think, Seath and Dark Souls 1. Because, you know, um... Seath, the death in Dark Souls 1 does not count. Um... Environmental damage, like, spike pits or, uh... Or fall damage don't count unless you die. Um, and I think that's it. I'm pretty sure if you get poisoned from, like, an enemy, though, like, if you get poisoned or stuff, I think that counts. So. And even, even if an enemy has an attack, like, this happens in Elden Ring a lot, there's enemies that have an attack that has a shockwave to it that doesn't hurt, but it staggers. If you get staggered by those, you also, it also fails the run, usually. Yeah, no, I think I think those are allowed. I think you're allowed to do self-damaging weapon arts because you're you're technically hitting yourself. And plus most uh yes, yes, exactly, Spock. And also that weapon art, I don't know if they use the same weapon that you're that you're uh that they did it on, but that, that weapon art also gives you a buff on the weapon if they continue to use that same weapon for the fight. Um But yeah, they might have also just used it for Red Tear Stone Ring. I know in Demon Souls, no hit runs, they use um Demon Souls has a sword that drains your health, I'm pretty sure. I think they spam equip it, and I think it, like, drains the health, like, really fast. Luke, or I was sad how fast you figured this boss out. I was hoping you were going to be stuck here on this guy. Yeah, I think it'd be really funny. Ow. Help. Because I think in my first playthrough, it took me like two or three killing blows to recognize what to do here. Wait, you remember the thing about the spear and the armor? Ow. I think I was like fully stunlocked. I was trying to roll there.
Oh, I forgot. You can't angle it. I was like holding right. Which, that's not the thing. This game's a gimmick. Or, or this fight's a gimmick. And I'm just saying, I thought it would have been funny to get stuck on the gimmick fight because it's a little strange. Ow. Ow. There's a boss Hello is stuck on for like three days. Well, I know Hella didn't know about a certain mechanic, and I know a certain boss that has that mechanic that I feel like he might, um... That, that would give him a trouble if he didn't know about the mechanic. So I think I know what boss that is. I'm excited to see that boss because I really like that boss. That's one of my favorites in this game, probably. It's gonna work from here. Boom. Wait, so am I crazy, Lucor? Did the spear give you something extra there? Or how did the spear work on this fight? Um, what is this? Oh, regain posture on Deathblow. Yeah, I, I do love the Roberto! Alright, everyone, he falls. Now, I, I like that boss. I also really like this area. This area, I think, looks really nice. Um... Oh, it just did a lot of poise damage. Was am I crazy? I felt like mine was not, unless I unless you like were doing it on certain attacks, and that's what it what what uh, did it. Oh, you just spam meshed in. It worked. Gotcha. Um, I didn't know that. I watched him in Discord. Well, I, I assume there's only a couple more bosses for Luko to fight. And I think I know which one you're talking about. Because Helicopter was telling me that there was a mechanic he didn't know about. Um, until after he beat the game. And I was, and, like, I'm like, wow, that's how he did it then. Wait, you just changed it in audio settings? Well, no, I thought we found it, Hector. But then I was like, I'm not, like, let's keep it. Because I think we played it. Wait, no. Like, where... Where in audio settings? So do I have to be on the main menu, probably? But either way, I thought we found it. And then I was like, well... We already started in Japanese, so we might as well keep it. And I didn't think to change it for this playthrough. It would have been cool to have it changed for this playthrough. Um, just so we could have, like, a... Uh, what's it called? You know, just so it's, like, kind of something new, right? But... Help. Hold up, secret of foot. Well, Hector, I thought we found it later. Like, I thought I found it, like, like day two or something, and I was like, oh. Yeah, I don't know, Lucre. That's just probably, like, the deluxe edition, like, extra super pre-order bonus that I never got or something. I mean, it might just be main menu. We could check. Unless it would be under, like, game options. Yeah, let's, let's check the main menu. I mean, people kept it Japanese for anime reasons. Immersion. Well, yeah, that, well, I mean, that's kind of the... Like, we... I'm pretty sure I was like, oh, can I get this game in English? And I couldn't... I either didn't... Oh, language. I think we didn't see the language. Like, because I think I scrolled down to settings, and I was like, oh. Actually, I guess it does show language. I don't know. Maybe I'm a dumbass. I'm effort. But I thought we found it, like, day two or something. And then I was like, oh, well, that's too late now. Let's just play the game in Japanese, right? You guys want to put it on English? I mean, we already played the game in Japanese. We put it on English. Hey, 
Hey, no way I'm reading during boss fights? Bro, I played Liza P. I can read during boss fights. Liza P would do, like, the decipher what the fuck they're saying challenge because it'd be, like, hieroglyphics. Um... You know, it'd be like decipher the hieroglyphics that the uh, robots are, or the puppets are telling you, and do the boss fight. Like, not only do you have to read it, you also have to decipher it, because it's, like, not exactly the alphabet. Yo, you guys want me to put it on Spanish? I'd put it on Spanish. He'd be like, soy Sekiro. <laughs> the Dutch village area. <laughs> Uh, what, what is that one? I always forget the name. It's like, it's like something funny, right? That shit's like Dempa Men or some shit. Bro, is having fun in the rafters? I forgot where to go. <laughs> and I, I knew these were the centipede guys, and I don't really like sticking around the centipede guys because they're scary. Oh, yeah. It, it, oh, it, oh, it's Dorps Bologner or some shit like that, right? Yeah, Dorps Bowoner. I, I don't think that's actually how you pronounce it, but that's what it like looks like. That's what it looks like it's written. I just thought we were going we. We kind of were. I mean, it was kind. We were kind of going we for a little bit, just for funsies. But I was also trying to like get my bearings on where to go. Which? Why are you gonna look at me like that? Wait, am I going in circles? I might be going in circles. <laughs> I think I'm going in circles, guys. I went in circles here like five times. <laughs> Dude, this, this game is, uh, you know, it's got some tomfoolery. Sorry, Lucor. Sorry you had to see that, Gary. I don't know why I did, like, I, I did, like, a uh, Squidward voice, not Spongebob. Oh, is that for a new skill tree? I actually kind of been needing that because I already have like all the skills I want from the skill trees I have. Um, so is that shit optional? And to jump off the cliff? When the game has monkey around when Charlie kills the monkeys? I didn't kill a monkey just now, did I? This is where I went through. Oh yeah, don't no, no, no fuck with this place out front. This place out front is kind of fricked up. I've killed 2.5 monkeys, yeah, but like... You know, that's like overall. Um, praying strikes. Oh yeah, this is um... Yeah. I mean, like, hold up. Do I want anything else from any of these? I mean, technically, maybe spirit emblems I would want. Maybe. Um. Hmm. Yeah, what's up? What's up, uh, Lucor? Hmm. Help me convince Zayla to play Demon Souls. Uh, is he playing it solo, or, like, like what, are you trying to watch him play it, or are you guys trying to do, like, a co-op run or something? Oh, improves the amount of money people drop. That sounds nice to me. Oh, you want him to play it on stream. Oh, like, co-op on stream? Wait, but aren't you doing... But what about Elden Ring? Or am I crazy? Ah, 
I know there's like something, something here. There's like something weird you have to do here, I'm pretty sure. Is it not up in the rafters? Okay, okay. So you're saying he streams his, him playing it solo. Okay, okay. No, don't play Bioshock. I I don't like Bio. Well, I I told Zayla, Zayla, it, listen, Zayla. If you want to play Bioshock, and you want to stream it, don't 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 let me stop you, because Zayla, I'm there for you. I'm not there for what you're playing. I'm there for you, Zayla. But I personally don't like Bioshock. Um. So don't let, but don't let me stop you from playing it. But if you're gonna play Demon Souls, that would be extremely hype. And I think Demon Souls is a very good game. Um, and I would highly recommend it. Would you be playing the PS5 or PS3 version? PS5? Okay, that, I mean, I I don't really have a preference. I was just curious. But the, uh, and I, I think both of them are, are completely fine. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I would, I would recommend, uh, I would highly recommend Demon's Souls. I think it's really good. Demon's Souls might be, if we're doing the Soulsborne Kiro ring tier list, Demon's Souls might be like top three or top four. TBH. My two Bioshock Thursday and Demon Friday. Nice. Yeah, I'm not a Bioshock enjoyer, Twinkie. I talked about it a little bit when Zayla first brought it up. Um, I don't know why. I think it. I think a lot of it is when a game is sort of. Um, when a game like sort of like Bioshock sort of has magic, right? It's kind of like sort of like magic, right? They have like shit like fire, like you shoot out fire and whatnot, and this and that. It's like sort of like magic. When, when games are like that, I, like, want to love them because I'm like, ooh, magic, that's cool. Like, magic in a, like, in a in a fantasy setting, right? That's neat. And then I try, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't work for me. Something about it doesn't click, and I, I, I end up, like, not liking it. Like, because I feel the same way with, uh, I feel the same way with, uh, Dishonored as well. I feel like Dishonored has the same problem where, like, that shit is kind of, like, magic, but in a, like, a... Like, it has magic, but it's also in a different setting. And I don't know, it, it, was, it was just not that cool for me. Um. Um, I gotta say, I've been trying to shake it, but I have a feeling, this weird vibe, that, uh, that stuck around after a weird nightmare where a tornado was sucking me up into a tornado. Uh, feet first. That might just be me sucking on your toes in your sleep. Um, you, you have nothing to worry about, uh, Spock. I was just sucking on your Piggly Wigglies while you were having sweet dreams, and it might have affected what you were dreaming about. Um. Spock, have you played Life is Strange? You sound like the, uh, you sound like the, the main character right now from Life is Strange. That's what someone's doing to me there in the VGM quiz. Yeah, but that was to your balls, Nick. That's a different thing. I just played this. I do not remember where to go. Yeah, me neither. I feel like I might need to backtrack a little bit. I've not played it. No, okay. No spoilers. Fucking like tornado slash hurricane type beat. Hmm. 
This shit has got me like quite indubitably. Is this just a shortcut up here? Or is this new area? This might be new spot. Secret spot ahead? No, no, this is where we- this is like shortcut spot, okay. Um... Quite indubitably. I feel like I remember there being something down here. Yeah, I mean, Luca, if you're gonna be peeping your VOD anyway, I mean, I'll take the, the hint, but I think it has something to do with down here. I remember this spot being somewhat important. Oh, that guy was the one grabbing me! I thought it was the other one in front of- Ow, my back! Bro, he moved the back breaker! Oh, I thought it was the door I needed to, needed to unlock. Sorry, I was, I was checking my tools, see, see what I got. Did I already do monkeys? Uh, what, the folding screen? No, I did not. Direction, Derek? Yeah, maybe. Don't let him know. Ew. Ew, uh, bro. Ew. Freaking ew, dude. They will eat their plushie of Mario and Luigi. Um. As announced, that's awesome. You want Barry? Yeah, sure. I don't know, I thought this area was important, but maybe I'm tripping. Go back to the idol? Okay. Who's making the backseat burial? We gotta make it a shared account, like where we can all share the password, you know what I mean? Like, we, we should all share the password on it so we, like, uh, you know, so, like, whenever it's needed, we can be Barry. I want you to touch it. Uh, bleh. I mean, I'm sure if I was, like, like obviously, since it's second playthrough, I forgore. But, uh, I'm sure in a normal playthrough, that because I, I don't remember <laughs> being stuck there. Um, I did kind of forget the gimmick to these guys. Because I remember kind of brute forcing this. I believe you are on a mission. I forgot he was speaking English. You must defeat the monkeys once you have done so. The monkey, in the he has excellent if he spots he is exceed. Oh, yeah. The monkey in the orange, while he does not have, but he makes a big fuss when he's. Oh, perhaps he. The monkey in the green, he has excellent here. He will generally run away. He is a. I do not wish. It is. Oh, yeah. There was. I believe. I pr no, no, I changed the voice acting right now, Max. Um, because we just had to go to the main menu and do it. Oh, th what, this makes them scatter, right? I, I remember these monkeys getting me to jump to my death so many times because I was like chasing them and then I'd be like, wait. Oh yes, I remember the seeing monkey you can you can extinguish the flames in one of these, I think. I think you need to lure the deafening or the hearing monkey here because then he can't hear. He has the rushing water, right? I think. Hold up, I gotta I got a... Where's the guy? I think I remember the deal. Is that... I would... Um... 
The monk did. He has. Wait, did one of them just land near me? It sounded like they did. Can see if he spot. Is it? All right, purple one is seeing. The monkey in the orb. Well, he makes. Oh. The monkey in. He All right, green is hearing. Green is hearing. Purple is seeing. Okay. I think I get it. I think one one of these you can turn the lights off, I think, and make it like completely pitch black. Wait, is one of them in there? Or did they just run? Yeah, you can definitely just chase them. Um, but there is a I think there's a correct way to do it. I forgot which I forgot which way you turn the lights off. Or exactly how you do it. Oh, this is the one I think you just kill. I think because the orange one is the one who warns them, right? And I think you just kill him because he's like evil. The other ones, I think you, if you lure him to a certain spot, I think you just win. Um. Hmm. Hold up. Oh. There's a monkey? Wait. Invisible ass monkey? Oh, yes! I forgot one of the monkeys is invisible. I forgot about that. I forgot one of the monkeys is invisible. Because that's why... Because they're, they're supposed to be four, right? I think, on the folding screens. And one of them is just invisible. I remember, yeah, this one. I remember getting baited by that the first time I did this. I was like, wait, why is there a monkey left or something? I was like, why is there another monkey? Oh, yes, this opens it, and I think it turns the lights out, right? I think? Maybe? Perhaps? Yeah, there we go. So now I think I just need to lure the monkeys into these spots, and then I think you can just guarantee to assassinate them. Where are these guys? Oh, they spotted me? Oh, one's right here. Oh, wait, no, this is like the, the clone. This is a shadow clone jutsu. That's the purple one. I think I'm I think he's going towards the dark area. Yeah, so I think we should be good. Right here. I think we just assassinate him now. There we go. And now the last one should be the one that I need to trap in the waterfall area. Um, where's the last guy? Oh, there he is, right? That's him. Oh no, this is the, the evildoers. Ow, ow. I think I missed this when you first played. Yeah, this is the... Uh, I don't know, I kind of like this boss fight. Although I would say... I would say I'm not... Like, I, I, I don't think this is much of a boss fight, but I do enjoy this, regardless. Oh, is he up here? Is that what's going on? Yeah, bro's hiding. Oh, wait, I might just be able to catch this mf -er. Oh, no, he's he's baiting me. This is what I meant. I, when I first did this, I think the monkeys... Like, I, I tried to chase the monkeys, and I would run off the cliff by accident, which was pretty funny. Wait, he's quick. 
Wait, he might be going to the, the room, though. No, bro, don't want to go to the room. Wait, where'd he go? I think I lost him. Or is that him? That is him, okay. Wait, he's baited me. Wait, hold up. Now I get to jump on him, though. Hey, bro's one smart monkey. There we go. But yeah, you can just chase these guys down, but technically they're like, it's kind of like puzzle rooms where if you lead them, you kind of like corral them to a room that they're weak to, sort of, and then you can do it. I like when my controllers work, so I'm always a console warrior. What? Oh, you just, you mean like, well, I don't know, Steam has this new thing now where, um, where your controllers like almost always, um, I was in, uh, are you killing me again? No, no, these are, it, they were illusions. They were illusions. But yeah, Steam has this, uh, Steam has this new thing where, like, no matter what controller you have, it'll, like, give you a default layout. Like, like, it'll match, you know, assuming you don't have, like, a super crazy controller, it'll match your inputs. Like, you know, if you're playing a game that doesn't have PS5 support or something like that, you can just, like, sync it up, basically, and it'll, like, be like, okay, here's the Xbox layout, or here's the PlayStation 4 layout on your controller. Um, and they, they match it pretty well. I used to prefer playing all my games on console, and I got PS5, and things took up too much space on my desk and looks better on my TV compared to my PC monitor, so I never touch it because I don't have TV game. Wait. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Um... Or wait, hold up. So you're saying that you used to like playing games on your console, but... Oh, but now you're saying you don't have a TV is what you're saying, right? Or am I misinterpreting that? Most recent addition to my setup is actually easier than it ever has been to play console games. I just have to monitor a switcher on my Elgato. Um, see, I just use my... Uh, I, I just play on my TV. Like, my TV is just, like, right there. That way. So I just play over there when I'm playing on TV. It's not too much of a hassle or anything to stream it. They, they were just illusions. That's why we're in, like, a fake world. Do you see how, like, I'm in the normal world now? That was the fake world. They, they were fake monkeys. Why do you... I see... Do you, yeah. It is yet... I do. I see... Damn. Um. Oh, okay. The T, uh, the PS5 take a stupid amount of space. Okay. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying now. Got it. Bro, I can't believe I missed a firecracker somewhere. The firecracker was my go-to, and I, can't, I didn't even find it this playthrough. I don't remember. I, I think you find it earlier than this, so I think I must have missed it, probably. They're making a slim PS5? I think they are, yeah. Or it might already be out or something. It's dumb wing dings. <laughs> It's before Gyobu. Gyobu's the first boss, right, Chef Man? Yeah. <laughs> is it the, uh... Oh, is it the merchant there that that uh, I, I always forget to go back to? Yes, yeah, okay. Um, I think I went to the wrong site anyway. Or the wrong idol. I think I need to go forward one more. Or no, do I? Yeah, I need to go forward one more, I think. Yeah, it's this one, I think. You don't have the strength to move a, a bookshelf, a bookshelf in a fat desk. Well, why don't you have Link do it? Link seems pretty strong. So well. 
Wait, he has the Phantom Kunai. Is it not this guy? This is the guy I was thinking of. Oh. Is it the abandoned dungeon guy? I don't know. I don't remember. To the side of the arena. Oh, like the actual boss arena? Is that... Hold up. Hmm. Oh! Oh, wait, hold up. It's not, a. Uh... It's not the guy up here, is it? He's not really a merchant. I think you need to do something for him, and then he gives it to you. Yes, Tengu Mask. Okay, okay. Or, or is it in the tower? Or is there a merchant here, too, and I don't know about... I didn't find. I don't know if I did what he wanted me to. Yes. I knew. Wonderful. Wonderful. This is the way. It's our school. You just win your battle. I hope. It's so weird hearing them speak About in English now. It's our school. You just. I hope. Oh, there's a guy just to the side of the building. Jeez. Dude, first playthrough experience versus second playthrough. Dude, like second time playing a game, bro. I just like I literally uh. I like forget everything you know. Oh. That occur that you help me where's guess not that's why I wait you're not a merchant right or are now you then, there's no you're that okay you're, you're just gonna yap that's the yapper I know she meant to say to the side of the building but I was like wait a minute why is there NPC here <laughs> other side it's all right I should meant up uh <laughs> Well, if it wasn't that side, I was, I was gonna try the other side. I forgot about this guy. Robert's firecrackers, there you go. And gourd seed, I need to use that. Here, let's sell my, uh, heavy coin purse. Boom. I didn't realize those were Roberts. Yeah, see, I never, I never uh, connected that two until now because obviously we fought uh, the guy, right? Um, we fought the guy first, and now, and then we backtracked to the firecrackers. I don't know if I'll actually use these, but they might, uh, they might, they might carry me like they did in my uh, first playthrough. I feel like I've been using tools less and less, but I feel like it's just because firecrackers were my goat when I played. And I didn't have them for a while, so. Oh yeah, here's a... Uh, I need money. Money, 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 money. Yeah, I know they, there's like the long-lasting fireworks, which I think I had. Which are pretty good. Um, let's throw on... I don't know, I don't need the axe. I haven't been running into shield guys yet, so let's throw on uh, Shinobi Firecracker. Alright, where to now? What did we just do? We just did, uh, monkeys. Um, now what? Uh, firecrackers are the only item people pick up for speedruns. That's funny. How long have these books been here? <laughs> Wonder flower. How long have these I books been here? I did. You said the mice uh, from it's so what? a fluff. A fluff. What? Lord, I was there and the kid. Yes, a fat. <laughs> My lord. Was it? Yes. I, I did well. Thanks. My lord. Could it a, when it's you... that wolf, I. If you should of course closure my lord Lord Takeru's dragon blood yeah whatever that was a boom use it yes yes the sword that came. I didn't expect yeah. it was given to me by the, the divine the result is no a false dragon yes many were created for ties of immortality yes man <laughs> <laughs> giving the dialogue is so funny I found something that it's a, st a st yes look at this 
what is. It's a writing. It says there's a sacred village. But I haven't. Hmm. Beyond the bottom of the well, it says there is. It may be relevant. I will take a Good. The text did say to throw oneself. A place. To... I've seen a place. You have? There is a great. See, an old woman. She told me to. Hmm. Yes, I felt a faint. I think. I... It's worth a try. Wait. Yeah, I kind of don't remember this. Am I actually supposed to jump into the bottomless pit? I'm glad you've Yes, I feel like Twinkie's trolling. Twinkie doesn't answer questions unless he's trolling. Here. Oh my. If this isn't, I'll have some. Delicious. Please. Hmm? Say something. There is something I'd like to ask you. Of course. Who trained you to fight with a blade? A blade? I am a doctor. Yes, but who? <sighs> I do not believe. Why did you. Well, what you no, it, uh, it. Okay, whatever. Goodbye. But you're yapping. He's just like me. <laughs> it's just... Oh, dude, this is how you get Ichimanji, bro. I love Ichimanji. Uh, I'm a huge Ichimanji fan. That's where I get Ichimanji. Um... Oh, yes, this shit is so good. All this shit is so good. I, I need, like, all these skills. They're, they're like, the goaded skills. They're the Elden skills, if you will. Rosemanji is a little itchy. You know how it is. Boom, now I can't, oh, I can't do it here because we're in, like, safe space. This is my safe space. But uh, Ichimanji is really good, actually. I, I use that a shit ton. And I already have aerial weapon arts, so... I, I, I used to always do jumping Ichimanji into people because that shit is kind of goaded. Um, oh wait, bottomless hole. I'm gonna go fucking jump in the bottomless hole and see if that shit works. Will you be? What? If you wish, then you'd be over the death. Okay. I know it's the grappling hook spot, but like, am I just supposed to fall? Ow. Oops. Oh, I know, I might just need a grapple hook and then go. Uh, everyone loves to hear ab about a bottomless hole, but it's a story of deep tragedy if you consider a holeless bottom. Indubitably. Dude, I don't know what these NPCs are yapping about. Are they just trying to get me to the area I've already been? Do I need to go, uh... I might just need to go to, uh, what's it called? I don't know, I think I'm stupid. Plus dumb pilled. Velvet room assistance, so true. What are you looking for? I don't know where to go next. I think I might just need to do this next, but I could be wrong. The flower, rock, and sword? Yeah, and then I go through here, right? Or The Mist Noble. Is that the guy who leads here? Right, there would be an interaction here if I had everything, right? Or or maybe now that I have the stone, I have to go talk to the, the Kuro. 
Yeah, I need rock and stone. Um. Maybe I'll tell Kuro and he'll be like, yeah, now go. Now go do that shit. Now go do all that. Um. Oh, am I in Kuro's room? Wait. I'm not. Oh, oh, now is the... Oh, now do I... Now I play the rest of the game. Now the games. Yeah, okay, okay. Now I'm ready. Is this door locked? This door's probably gonna be locked, right? Oh, no, it's not. Hey. <laughs> okay, yeah, see? Okay, I was confused because... um. For the bad ending, like for the evil ending, I don't need to go to the next area. I'm pretty sure I'm done with the game now. It's a shame too, because I really like the next area. Shut up. I was yapping up a storm for no reason. Thank you, don't look at that. Oh, I'm telling you, this is for you. Who is up here? Who wants to smoke? You do? We're just gonna not fight the headless? What do you mean? Like, like, why would I fight the headless? Those guys are MFers. I don't like those guys. I hate those guys and want them dead. Yo, what's up, Ben? How you doing? Yo, Ben, what do you think of the direct today? Ow. Speaking of getting head, hi Ben. Yeah, true. I thought it was very strong, me too. I, I just didn't want to say anything because I wanted to hear your thoughts before I influence you. I didn't want to be like, yo, that shit was ass, and then you're like, actually, it was kind of bad. Not to say you're one to be easily influenced, but just in case it was gonna, I didn't want to, uh... You know, I didn't want to say anything because I wanted I wanted to hear your reaction first. But yeah, no, I, th I thought it was also very good. Um, couple of really big announcements there. And they kind of just snuck in MVC in there. They're like, oh yeah, by the way, also like MVC collection, which is arguably, you could say, it's some of the biggest news of the entire show. If he first tries this boss, I would gift five subs. Okay, first tries the boss like a boss. I heard stories of your death, yet here you are. What are you plotting, Al? Plotting? I would do no such thing. Now, my lord, I must ask that you accompany me. Dude, I thought the Mario and Luigi game looked amazing. Um... I, I'm sure that's probably not the one you're talking about, but Mario and Luigi looked like a huge upgrade. Um, like, Mario and Luigi looked mad good, um, compared to the other ones. And the other ones I also, I already enjoyed, right? So, like, I love the art style and the animations they showed. I would, my lord, but... 
I'm so stunned by this view. I'd like to I'm also just Ben, did you notice I beat Donkey Kong Country 3 in the announced returns? The only thing that would have been really awesome was if it was like Shadow Drop today, so next Funky Monkey Friday we could do it. You know what I mean? Um because then it would line up and I could play Returns and then Tropical Freeze, but I guess we'll have to do Tropical Freeze and go back to Returns in like September or not September, it was like next year, still I think. Alive. That was my design. But the same could be said for you. I was certain you died that night. The power That's of the true. Divine That's true, Lucor. Back. That's it. What? The divine air's power. The dragon. This guy's voice is really nice in English. Must be mine. Father. Now you see it. Remember the first rule of the code. As your father, I order you to forsake your master. Can you get the file, your file DLC rule, ready? Bro, he is your master I know you're asking Ben, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm so ready. I'm so ready for it. Listen to me, Wolf. Obey your father's command and forsake the divine heir. Um, so I have to obey it. I have to forsake Kuro, right? That's evil shit, right? That's that's my evil type beat, right? Option one. Yeah, I have to obey it because uh, I, I stayed loyal to Kuro and that's how I got the good ending. I think that's real. I saw an updated spec sheet for the DLC and I was nervous, but then I read the only thing it changes requires storage. <laughs> you are not going to be pleased with my life choices this week. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I should hopefully someday be able to play the DLC on my laptop. Hopefully, hopefully. Well, it's all right, Spock. You'll have your favorite streamer here playing it for you. Kaboom. As you command. In accordance with your father's word, you will forsake the divine heir. You understand now, don't you? Um... I will not be playing the DLC alongside the gamers this week. That's so sad. That's so sad. No, he, Ben's just going to be grinding Valorant this week, he decided. He decided he wants to play a lot of Valorant. Yes. The code is absolute. I hereby forsake my master. The divine heir. I expected... No less from you, my boy. So this is new. This is new With content. This, our supreme reign will... <sighs> it seems we have a troubling... So Lucro said if I first try this, I get five gift subs, guys. Let's first but try this. The daughter of the late Lord Doga would be quite the insult. Disgrace. Damn. My, my. Not bad at all. True, Ben, true. Well, Ben, I'm gonna be streaming this shit like crazy. Like, I'm gonna be streaming outside of my normal hours to stream it. Um, until I'm done with it, because I just... I will not be able to resist, plus I want to stream it, you know what I mean? Like, I want to play it a shit ton, and I want to stream it, so I'm just going to be playing, like, a shit ton of DLC. I and I think it drops... Today's before. Tuesday, right? I think it drops Thursday at 6 p.m., so I might start, that like, around then, the like, Thursday night. Stirs inside of you. As such, you must be destroyed. Alright. Uh, Anyway, here's uh here's Akko's sugar. Oh, ouchie, okay, she does a lot of damage. Oh, 
crap. Wait, Lucor, please tell me there's another phase. Lucor, please tell me there's another phase. There's no way you struggled with that. I mean, I beat that guy. I beat that boss first try. I don't know, guys. That's a separate boss. I did beat that boss first try. If this old man's gonna come throw hands. You were a most unkind and inauspicious man. But for some reason, I could not bring myself to hate you. Well, Lucor said five gift subs if I first try it. It seems I must cut you down before you fall to Shura. You are twisting my shit. What do you mean? It's such Shinobi execution. I killed the boss first try. Uh oh, now Lucor is twisting his shit. Now Lucor is twisting his shit a little bit. He said if I kill the next boss first try, and that was the next boss. This is a different boss, bro. Check the boss list. They're, they're probably listed as separate bosses. Now Lucor is twisting it. Yo, he has Ichimanji. He has Ichimanji double. The fucking goat. Elden Lord. Oh, I know he is Tengu Mask. I know that, like, the Lord, like, he is actually Tengu Mask, so I shouldn't be surprised. But, uh, that's neat that he has Ichimanji double. Ichimanji, I love that move. Ow. That moves were pretty strong though. As 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 well as I know, I know that move is pretty strong. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, ouchie, my feet. No, why are you falling on the floor, John Sekiro? Get up. Bitch made. Oh, that's a grab! <laughs> I love throws and souls like games because they're they're usually so dope looking. Like I love, but like they always do make boss grabs like feel awesome and epic style. Ah, uh, there we go. That's phase one. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy's a secret phase, though, past these first two. Oh. Bro's coming in my hop! Oh, I will fucking Virgil! Help! Virgil! He's Virgil now! Wait, I don't have any drink. No more sippy. No more sippy out of my sippy cup. Ooh. Oh, hey, shit, he became Virgil. Hold up, we got another revive. <laughs> Waterfowl dance, so true, Ted. Uh-oh, that missed. Uh-oh, I, ne I need my long-lasting firecracker. Ugh. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to firecracker into Ichimanji, because that's my old strat. I used to firecracker into Ichimanji. That's the strat. Bro? Oh no, that's fire move, okay. Oh, and then he has Virgil move. I forgot about that. Emma isn't even listed? Is that true? Is that true? Emma isn't even considered a boss? Um. Yeah, Lucor, you did say first boss. I don't know. Wait, wait hold on. Let me see. Lucor said... What did Lucor say? I don't even know. Where, where did Lucor put it? If he first tries this boss, this boss, I don't know. For the sake of Sekiro, so true. 
Um... Never try and twist the spirit of the bet or you'll become a detestable sword. How am I twisting the spirit of it? He said this boss, and that was this boss. Um, the beef of Lucor is so thick you don't even know when I'm siding with him. True. Um, Sekiro, this is farewell for the sake of Sekiro. Fucking give it to me, that thing your Dark Soul has dialogue. So true. So true. Um... No, I didn't, Ben, because I did I never done this route, so that was a new boss to me. That was that was the first new boss. Yeah, boss health bar name shown on the bar. That is a boss. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. How many bosses the nameless king? That's two bosses, bro. But technically you fight the same guy in both phases. Like, technically, you fight that guy in both phases. You know what I mean? Like, you fight the same dude in both phases. Is Emma a first phase? I don't even know. Let's find out. Because this is my first time fighting that boss. Yeah, forced playthrough. There's a closer idol, I figured. Um, but I was like, wait, can I just get to the roof? And then I did, because I'm goaded. I don't even remember how I got there. I think I went through this river. Oh, wait, Emma doesn't stay dead? Hmm. I mean, that does, that does get it twisted a little bit. That does get it twisted a little bit. See, that's the thing. That's exactly what I thought, Hector. I was like, oh, Lucor's ass at this game, so he probably thought Emma was really hard. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, which we're not getting it twisted. Think of um, a good game. Um, Dark Souls 2. Okay, Dark Souls 2. Great game, right? Probably the best Souls game to ever exist. Um, let me think. The final boss, you have, you fight Throne Watchers and Throne Defender. Then, you fight Nishandra, and then you fight Aldia. Those are three separate bosses in the same boss room, back-to-back, -back, with cutscenes. Or, actually, is there a cutscene? I don't remember. I don't think there's a... Well, there, there's a cutscene for Nishandra. I don't know if there's a cutscene for Aldia. But that's all I'm saying. So how was I supposed to know on my first playthrough that those guys stay dead? <laughs> that shit was crazy. They kind of were getting it twisted. I hereby forsake my master. If Emma isn't listening to the boss, is she a the boss? Um... Yes, because uh, Lucor said this boss, and I killed a boss. I expected no Kaboom. less from you, my boy. With this, help. yeah, he yaps at you, but it's no cutscene. That's what I was thinking, right? Ouchie. Oh, oh, I thought she was, like, stabbing me. It looked like maybe she was putting her sword away for the grab. Oh, whoa, she's got epic moves? Ow, ow, why'd she do so much damage? I grab. <laughs> hey, uh, Ben, thanks for the gift sub. Have your pity gift sub, you freak. Listen, I'm just saying, I fought a boss, and I did first try them. 
Why are my why are my gift sub things going through twice? Right, that was only one gift sub, unless I'm tripping balls. I don't know why it's going through twice sometimes. Pity sub sad? Dude, see, this is the problem with big EG. You guys are like, oh, we're little EG, we're little EG, this and that. Now you guys, now you guys are gonna start slandering. Um You guys are gonna start slandering that uh like me taking money from Big EG. You guys are like, oh, you shouldn't take money from Big EG. Like, grow up. That's that's the whole point of of down with Big EG. Help, help. Yeah, see guys, I was pro I was proving it. Emma's strong foe. Bro, grab the roof, John Sekiro. Get with it. You have the Twitch alert and slobs alert going through? I don't think so. Because what's weird is like... Well, hold on. Let me hit it. Let me hit it once. If I hit it with a replay, does it play once or twice? Let's see. Because if I had both of them playing, wouldn't they play over each other? Like, it queued up two alerts, which is weird. I don't know. Whatever. I hereby forsake my master, the divine heir. I expect. Um, I couldn't say if you first try spoiler boss on a blind playthrough. I had to say next boss. Yeah, and that was the next boss, and I first tried him. Kaboom. Our supreme reign will. Well, I told Ben that if we do a, what's it called? If he does another, like, last word or whatever, last word season two or whatever, it, that needs to, it needs to be faction-based, and you have to pick a side. Big EG, Little EG, Gooner, and Wise Wizards. Wait, did that even do posture damage? Is she immune to me stepping on that shit? Ow. She's immune to Berserk move. I think Walrus is considered a wise wizard. Oh, Walrus is a mistake? Oh. Okay. Alright, there we go. You know, I'm, I'm a Gooner wizard. My magic is ways with Gooning. That's where the real magic happens, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Okay, old man. I don't want to jinx it, but phase one of old man seemed pretty easy. But after that, it's just getting used to phase two, where he gets like crazy attacks. He becomes a little bit like Virgil. Ichimanji. No, if you get hit by the first Ichimanji, I think you're screwed. Or maybe I just need to roll instead of trying to deflect. Oh, okay, he's got sweep out of that. Hold up, old man got hands. Ooh, okay, jump that. Help! Ooh! Alright. Hold up, bro, I had the posture break combo. It's chill, though. I should be able to jump off of him. There. Ooh, ouchie mama. Alright, what, what is bro swinging at? Oh no, you can deflect the second one. 
Or maybe I had no posture the first time, that's why I couldn't do it. Ouchie. No, no, stop it! Ow, ow. Alright, bro's got the three piece. Um. Your beef with Spock is your least becoming feature. <laughs> um. Let me see. <laughs> if I have no beef, then admit he is a wise wizard. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are on to me. I hear. Um, I was gonna take a break from work until oh, Streamer yes. beat this boss, but it turns out even though I beat it blindfolded as a baby, he's going to die a lot. Oh wait, Ben, I was actually letting my cat play. Uh, my cat was playing those last couple of tries. Do you want me to try? I could try if you want. I was letting my cat uh, play. He's, he's, he was looking at the game. He said it looked a lot of fun, so I wanted to give him a try. Um, but if you want, I can take the controller back. But to oppose the daughter of the late Lord Doga. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's his first time playing. I think he did pretty good for his first time playing. Um, he also had one paw behind his back, but, you know. Don't, don't we all, right? I think we usually all do that when we, uh... When we play this game, because it's so easy. Not bad at all. Wolf, I leave this to you. <laughs> Have at it. Hey, does that happen in Star Trek? Maybe I gotta watch Star Trek. Sir. There's a lot of Johns in here. My name's not John. Is anyone else here named John? Not me. I think the biggest John when Witch was trying to tell me people spell Jonathan instead of Jonathan. I think that was the biggest John I've ever heard. Was when Witch was like, no, I think John I think Jonathan with the O is like common. And I was like, you're weird. You're weird for thinking that. Ben agreed with me? Yeah, but Ben we all know Ben lacks social skills to communicate with human beings. I think we all know that much. So, how, how do I expect him to know the name of people if he doesn't communicate with them? Oh, I guess if I parry that, I get the advantage there, but if she parry, or if I don't parry, she gets the advantage there. Oh, that move always trips me up, because I think she's going for, like, a pierce, even though it doesn't show the red thing. Ouchie. Yeah, Ben is wrong with you, exactly. It's like, oh, Ben agreed with me, so we both must be right. Like my brother in Christ, no. Oh, jump. Ben, did you do the evil rat of Sekiro, or did you just do normal rat? Ouchie. Ouchie. That shit hurt a lot. Oh, let me see this, uh, tweet. Um. Oh, you've never done this route? Yeah. What, why do they announce a Marvel fighting game? I don't do well in fighting games after having a hard time with Mortal Kombat. Why must they torture me with a fighting title? Nice. Nice. Is that like, is that not, it, like, do they, does she not understand that, that it's like an old game coming back? Like, like, what do you mean? Like, 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 I don't know. That's what, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm asking too much. This is like trying to reason with the Smash Core that the Direct was actually good, despite there being no Smash announcement. <laughs> I hear. Um... I haven't considered telekinetic um... Expected no less from you. Oh, to fall under magic? Not sure whether I do, upon thinking on it further. <laughs> this, our supreme well, I know Yankee from Ben's streams, but that's about it. Elite satire, except she is not See, satire. Gotcha. We have a troubling guest. 
but to oppose the door. See, which that's the thing is, I think I've only ever seen it spelled Jonathan, not Jonathan. Would be to be honest. Quite the insult. To be quite Ernesto with you. Let us. She didn't want to attack for a second. She was thinking about it. She's like, yeah, actually, I'm taking the day off. Ooh, no, <laughs> I jumped into her. I'm supposed to jump away. Oh, shit, she's got Oki. Or she wanted to have Oki. My parry timings are off. I feel like her attacks are slightly delayed. Yeah, she's kind of the first Ellen Ring like enemy if you think about it. Uh oh, sweet. I had already input, so I could not I could not jump the sweep. No, I'm trashy, bro. I wanted to heal really bad. Yo, where are my parries at, bro? No, that's grab again. Why does she why does she stance up her legs like that if she's not going to sweep them? Oh yeah, that's a weird move. Is she doing Oki? What's she doing? Oh god, there's grab. No! Is she okay, oh I need to jump like diagonal. I need to jump diagonal. That was working. Diagonal jump was working. Oh, she didn't do the dash forward? Weird. <laughs> Fighting game player at the restaurant at the fast food restaurant? What like I'll have the combo? That tweet is how it feels, see Lucor talk about JRPG, so true. Why am I taking damage? I don't know. I think the game was glitched. Um for some reason I was getting hit when I shouldn't have been. Kaboom. Dude, it's so weird hearing them speak in English now, like, after so long. Ichimanji. No. Yo, he should, like, love me, because I know that move now. Like, bro, I'm, like, I'm carrying on your legacy. Watch. Boom. Ichimanji. Kaboom. He wants to do it too! That's my move now. You don't do that no more. Oh shit, that's piercing move. I thought he was going for sweepy move. Ow. Ouchie mama. Yeah, the, f the fighting game player at the fast food uh, chain be like, Can I get the, uh, can I get the combo with Oki, Mr. Squidward? Let me see, another classic? Um, does anyone know if Derek Jeter is available in a few weeks? I want him to cheer me and my teammates on in Richmond. That, that's awesome. That is very cool. I should start doing that. I should be like, does anyone know if like Miyamoto is available? I want him to make a good game next week. Um, I need to start giving me bits so you can get Shirley Winter Rage. Well, uh, fun fact, and, unless Max lied to me, I'm pretty sure if you do the funny bit things, like where you can make the giant emotes and stuff, I think that counts for Shirley Winter Rage. Ow. 
Dude, last time I fought her, she did not want to attack for the first, like, 10 seconds, so I was like, okay, I'll open with the attack. I'll make the first move. Girls hate making the first move nowadays, Gen Z style. And then, uh, and then, and then she wanted to make the first move. Oh, dude, the screen celebrate 20k times? Yeah, but, Lucor, wouldn't that be hilarious? Like, would that or would that not be really fucking awesome? Uh-oh. Ben's top one shatter. I mean, I know that much. I I know them from Ben's stream. I just don't know, uh... You know, I don't know if they're random or whatnot. Like, kind of like what Lucro said. I don't know if they're random or just, like, family member, friend, or something. Oh, right, so that's her putting her sword away so to go for the grab. It's kind of misleading because she, like, points her sword forward. But I guess it's because she's, like, going to sheath it, right? But that's why I keep on getting baited by the throw and thinking it's something else. Oh. No, why is she- why does she have so many dashy moves? There you go. Then. You know what I mean? I think that was the best thing Elden Ring added was teabagging. Elden Ring having teabagging sure. is pretty goaded. At least in a traditional sense, because obviously in Dark Souls 3 you have like patches, squat, you can spam and stuff like that. But uh, having traditional teabagging in Elden Ring is pretty goaded, I will not lie. Ooh, that's throw. That's throw. Ow. Ouchie. He's not, you're not coming over here, right? Yeah, you're old man. Ooh, sweepy move. I don't even know. If, I, I might, might have just been able to hit him out of it because I was behind him. Wait, you think I got old man in the corner? You think old man's allowed out of the corner? Bro, get in, get in the, get in the old folks' home. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Oh, all right. So he has both follow-ups out of that. He can do piercy or sweepy move. I gotta keep my eyes peeled. Ooh, ah. Uh. This is farewell. Um. Uh. Let me see this last one. I hope Mario movie wins a ton of Oscars. So real. So real and so true. She also blocked me on Twitter, so she has more foresight than anyone here. Oh shit. Who, who's, who's giving me back shots, bro? They have shurikens or something down there? Um, I hear by Yankee already had you blocked. I expected no less. Wait, Efron? Who's Efron? Am I stupid? Boy. Like Zach Efron? High School Even Musical? This, our supreme reign will. <sighs> There's no way. There's no way Zach Efron has Twinkie blocked. Why would he do that? Is he stupid? <laughs> Did you add Zac Efron asking for uh, games on Marvel or some shit? I hope with like the Derek Jeter tweet, it's like, Hey, Zac Efron, you available this weekend? I'm trying to run some Marvel. I really hope- Oh, that one's really, uh... That one's really delayed. The- the piercing move. Yo, damn! She'd be like, I'm just a doctor, bro. Why can you, like, teleport, like, five feet in front of you at, with every attack? What do you mean you're just a doctor? Can doctors do that? My ass needs to go to fucking med school. Got 
Dr. Z like Borderlands? Alright. Just gotta delay that one, like, ever so slightly. Ow, ow. Oh, at least if my posture breaks there, she doesn't get, like, the epic thing. Honestly, that's kind of... I feel like she's not able to punish me if I don't... If she doesn't... If my posture breaks there, because... Then she don't get the, uh, the epic thing. Yeah, but Spock, that doesn't explain how she's able to do, like, a, a five-feet dash with, like, one step. I don't know, is that a doctor thing? I love Borderlands. Ask an Efron to be in the next Kingdom Hearts. Um... It was one thirst tweet, that's all you're getting? Wait, Twinkie's the fucking goat. Sure. I hope Twinkie just tweeted, like, at Zac Efron, I want to be bouncing on Moan in it. Are you free this weekend? I want to bounce and moan on it. <laughs> no, no. Aw, uh, dude, if you get staggered, like, you just, you just can't do anything about that. That's unfortunate. I just gotta keep my eyes peeled for his three piece, you know what I mean? People always talk about the one piece, but watch, watch out for the three piece. The movie? Dude, the Borderlands movie's gonna be freaking bad chest, dude. That shit's gonna be fucking goaded. Don't even cap, guys. Don't even try to front. That shit is gonna be goaded, and you guys are, like, so ready for that shit. The movie is actually gonna be freaking bad chest, dude. Peekity Peekington. Best movie of all time. Maybe ever. Shut low! It's gonna be peak! <laughs> Who's making it? I don't even know, but I know they got like Kevin Hart, they got like Jack Black, they got like, I don't know, funny guys. That's just gonna be awesome. If you love dog-ass movies, bro, your ass played the games. You like dog-ass games, so you don't let that apply to movies? Is that where you draw the line? Uh-oh. No, you guys cannot convince me otherwise that that shit's gonna be, uh... The bait used to be believable. Bro, you're gonna tell me that a, a movie with, like, fucking Kevin Hart, Jack Black, you're gonna- Like, it's not bait! You guys just don't think that's gonna be the most epic fucking movie of all time? Guys, be com be completely for real. Can someone be so for real right now? Where's Chelsea? I know Chelsea would agree with me. Um, Nick, Nick, keep it real, Nick. The Borderlands movie is going to be peak, right? Just keep it real. Just keep it real, right? Um, no, I have no idea who's directing. No, no, guys, I, oh, wait. I think that they, they, they understood the assignment. They were like, let's get the most bat chestable cast of all time for the Borderlands movie. And let's, like, bastardize all the games into one continuity. And I think that's just, just going to be the, the best movie ever made. Kaboom. Fight Shrimple. Fight Shrimple. That's just going to be freaking bat chest, dude. It's going to be like Dark Souls 3. And Lucor loved Dark Souls 3. So that movie is going to be fucking awesome. That will probably be Lucor's top one favorite movie of all time. He loved Dark Souls 3, so he loves freaking Bat Chest. There's no way Tom Holland's handsome, Jack. That's not real. Um, anyway. Unconventional means of teabagging. Um, okay. Um, Spock? Spock, you wouldn't teabag. Spock, you wouldn't do that. Y you would hit, like, the- You would hit, like, the walk forward and back on a corpse teabag. Like, in a game with no, uh, with no crouching or whatever. You hit, like, the walk back and forth. Handsome Jack's not even in it? Are you sure? I thought they said he was because they're, like, bastardizing all the games into one. Um. Um, Nick? 
Uh, Nick is hitting the... Oh, bro, how many unconventional... Wait, cheap viewers, hold up. I'm gonna click that link. Oh, never mind, Hector got it. Um... Um... So, how many unconventional ways of teabagging are there? Um, I don't know. Spock, you're doing, like, the, the walk forward, walk backwards. Um, Nick, you're hitting, like, the patches squat over and over again from Dark Souls 3. Um, which, you're doing the, uh... Um, what's it called? Which, you're doing, uh... Which, you're, you're just killing someone and then you're shooting their corpse. Like, I would consider that a form of teabagging, right? In games with no teabagging, that's basically a teabag, is, like, killing someone and then shooting their corpse. Um, Zayla, you're you're doing, like, the nodding. Like, you kill someone and then you, like, you nod, so your character goes, like... Oh, God. <laughs> My head's up gonna fall off. But you do this, Zayla. You, you kill them and then you go... Like, like you do that. Um, so, that happens. Um... Lucor, um, you're the one getting teabagged, kaboom. Um, Hector? Um, Hector, you're doing the, the prone to, to full stand teabag. Like, like you, you're, you're going to prone, like, lay all the way down on the floor to stand up teabag. Like, you're, you're doing the full motion. Um, you know, you're doing that. Um, is that everyone? Did I get everyone? Oh, Ben. Um, Ben, you're doing... Um, Ben, you're just teabagging people. There's not, there's, it's not even unconventional. You're just teabagging people. You're, I, I feel like Ben's the type of motherfucker to do the, the classic Halo teabag and make it jiggle. Like, he bounce on, he bounces on it and makes it moan a little bit. Um, I, I know Ben's hitting the classic teabag. Like, Ben shouts Halo Teabagger to me. Um. I kind of hope it's okay, since I think the same production team is set for Zelda. Really? Really? Um. Eli Roth, I don't even know who that is. Um, <laughs> does doing slow sensual teabag scan as unconventional? I don't know. I hated D&D &D when I saw the D&D &D movie, but I ended up liking the movie. <laughs> so you never know. Um, what's it called? It takes a lot of power to teabag in Spartan armor, true. Um, no, I don't know. My thing with the Borderlands movie is, like, it's one of the, like, like Spock, I know you said, like, casting doesn't mean the movie's gonna be good. I genuinely, like, I 100% I agree with you, right? I 100% agree with you. But, like, I think the, the, the funniest part to me is that it's a fucking Borderlands movie and they went, like, all out with the casting. Like, in, not in terms of, like, good p fitting people for the roles, but they got a bunch of, like, really well-known names. Like, like if I recognize the people in the movie, that's saying something because I don't know a lot of actors. So the fact that I know all of them, it makes it really fucking funny because, like, it feels like what Borderlands the Game wanted to do as a movie. Because, like, Borderlands the Game is like, haha, it's so funny, they have, like, quirky jokes, right? And shit. So, like, seeing that they have just really, like, well-known actors that are like at this point i would say most of them are not really like super popular but they're like recognizable right and, and in that regard bat chestable if you would um which i think makes it really fucking funny yes yes see what nick said exactly what nick said uh the borderlands cast reeks a 30 to 40 year old bat chest factor see i 100 percent agree with that i 100 percent agree with that um But I think that is really like like that's the part that makes it so funny to me, and I'm like, I that shit will that. be that shit will be really funny. There's no way you said maybe Zayla's thirty. You did not just say that. I expected 
Yeah, you did not just say that. You did not say you guys are not you guys are not thirty, and then say, "Wait, maybe Zayla." Our supreme reign will. Oh. Huh. Let us. But that, that, that's why I, um, what's it called? Like, I'm not baiting about, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if I think the, the movie will genuinely be good, but I think the movie is already, like, really funny just because of the casting. It seems, like, so desperate to be, like, you know, like, it wants to, it wants to kind of, like, capture the funny, like, quirkiness of Borderlands already because I, I just feel like the actors, for, for the current time, like, for current year, I feel like the actors are very, like, out of touch with what, um, out of touch with, like, current popular actors. They were like, let's get, like, last decade's popular actors, you know what I mean? And that's why I think it's really funny and fitting for the Borderlands movie. So that that's what I'm getting at when it comes to, uh, that's what I'm getting at when I say I think it's funny. Um, because just like how, um, just like how, uh, like, you know, Borderlands, like I said, is kind of like, 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 the humor is like, or, like, even when the game came out, the humor was already a little, like, aged, I feel, or like, like, it was out of, like, you know, it was just not, they were not caught up with, like, like, modern humor, right? It was always, like, like, jokes that were, were not quite spot hitters. Um, I feel like that's what the movie's gonna be like, which will fit the, the which will fit it so well, which I think might make but it really funny, but, not bring myself to hate you. um, Nick hitting Zayota, you are real mature for your age. I think, I think what Nick's getting at is, is Nick saying that Zayla's so mature because, uh, yeah, Zayla gives the vibes that he grew up because Zayla doesn't come in here and and uh, and ar like like Zayla doesn't come in here to start arguments. He comes in here, he's like monkeys, yay monkeys, and then he'll say like, you know, he'll he'll say his two cents about something and then he'll move on, and that's really mature of Zayla. I think that's really mature of Zayla. You know, Zayla lets his opinion be known, but also, it, it's not the end of the world if his opinion- if, if people disagree with his opinion. Ow. This guy's pretty strong. When I'm the mf -er who won't drop- Shit, what do you mean?! Oh, okay. I thought that was sweepy move. Good thing I jumped back. Oh, that's sweepy move. That shit chopped my legs off a little bit. Go eat that, evildoer. No. I need to keep the pressure on, old man. Old Kajir, give it up. Oh, old Codger is quick. This is what you guys in the chat were like when you guys were like, I'm spry and youthful. This is what you guys look like. Ow. But you are pretty spry and youthful, I will not lie. This is farewell. Well, that sucks for those guys. Oh, you think he's getting fiber? You know he can't drop shit? I hear by f Oh, here we go. Lock in. Shorely is the mf -er? How am I mf -er? Ow. Damn. 
Damn, I, I need to delay that even longer, especially if I'm close. I guess if I'm further, I don't need to delay it, but... Oh, Shadow the Archery reviews have hit? Gotcha. I feel like reviews are usually easy to dodge, unless people are, like, dropping pictures, which maybe they are. Oh. Oh no, dude. It just, it, it's such bait because she goes like this. She goes like near, like pointing her blade right at me and then she like goes, Phew. you know what I mean? If Zayla is all, in all grown up, we are still rocking the Rugrats a bit. So true. So true. Wait, so hold on. Actually though, what are the reviews saying? Are they saying that shit's 10 out of 10 peak Peekington or are they saying that shit's ass Assington? Well, see, that's the thing, which is I like no, I like I don't know, I like knowing what people didn't like about stuff. But then, but then some people get a little scared. Some people get a little scared. Ninety-four average on Open Critic, really? Scores are high. Let's fucking go. I expected no less from you, my boy. Let us. Yo, high score like video games, so true. Video game reference. Bad chest. Uh-oh. No, it's grab! Why does she do that? Why did she place face her blade forward before before doing a grab? What was she th what was she thinking? <laughs> No, I did it again! Oh, I tried to jump off her head too, but there's not enough time either. There we go. Oh, not too bad. I mean, I used some healing, right? But... Whew. Eurogamer didn't like it? 6 out of 10? Limgrave is ba basically Europe. They're probably just mad. So true. So MFing true, Twinkie. Yeah, I wouldn't trust a. Uh, I wouldn't trust Eurogamer for nothing. Sure. They're just molding. They're definitely outlier. I'm so curious. Then I'm not gonna read the review, but I'm like, I'm just. Ah, oh, dude, I did it again with him. See, his is more easy to tell. I just, I just, that one was just, that was misplay. Is there a Mister play? No, I agree, Lucor, but obviously, I mean, if, if majority's saying good things, you know, that's obviously a good sign, right? But obviously, once again, you you know me, I'm like, nice opinion, did, a, did your favorite YouTuber give it to you? So, like, you know, I like to, uh, you know, obviously, like, I don't let the reviews dictate everything, but it is nice to hear when something I'm looking forward to has good reviews or something I'm not looking forward to has bad reviews, so I know I can, like, skip on it without feeling bad. You know what I mean? Oh, so really? It sounds like people are getting a little salty with the bosses. That's funny. That's classic with Souls review content. Uh, so I, I, I'm assuming this one's harder than Millennia. If people are struggling with it, which makes things interesting. Ooh. Well, I guess uh, Millennia was optional, so maybe maybe people were still able to finish, like reviewers were able to finish the game without doing Millennia. Oh, I didn't do- if I did Ichimanji sooner, I could've probably been goaded. Ooh! Ooh, okay. Damn. No, why am I falling over? Ooh, no, I did diagonal, so I didn't get the steppy. If I got steppy, he was dead there. It just sucks to lose a revive on. What? what? Hello! Fucking shitty ass game, bro! You guys see that? Fucking fix your game! Fucking 6 out of 10, this shit fucking blows! Did you guys see that? Oh shit, I thought I was in, in the safe spot. I was not in the safe spot! Oh man! 
Here, I'm just gonna die so I'd save my extra revive for, for a better attempt. I wanna save my revive for a better attempt. That was epic, dude. They hit me with fucking that, that shit. Uh, that guy, six out of ten. This game fucking sucks. I'm not playing Shadow of the Earth Tree because this shitty ass company can't fix their damn games, and the games all suck. Fucking kaboom. Um. Anyway, who wants to see Bloodborne tomorrow? <laughs> see you guys on Bloodborne tomorrow. Have, uh, have a nice uh, day. <laughs> you either die at Contrarian or live long enough to see yourself become Buzz. Uh, that's awesome. I expected no less from you. Wait, I peeped to see who wrote it because wait, what? Hold on, can I alt tab during this? It's gonna lose audio. Another Luigi Mansion three. What was that? What was the Luigi Mansion three thing? You see, um, we have a troubling guest. Some jerk, some jerk off was like, this game sucked. I couldn't even finish with. I couldn't even finish it. Stupid fucking game. They gave it a seven out of ten. That's awesome. Disgrace. I think it's easy to find a handful of people that like the same sort of things as you do. Yeah, see, that's how I feel about, um, like, like, I think I trust Max a lot when it comes to game recommendations, because Max understands what I do and don't like in a lot of video games. Um, and so usually if Max, like, Chrono Trigger was an outlier, but Chrono Trigger was more like, just trust me, bro, this is a game I like, smile. Um... But, what's it called? I feel like Max in general kind of knows what kind of games I like and stuff, so. Yeah, I just like Max, too. Um. Yeah. I don't know, but I definitely trust word of mouth of my friends better than, like, random reviews, TBH. Unless I'm, like, interested in the game, in which case maybe I'll, like, keep the, if the reviews are goaded or not. And honestly, I kind of trust Steam reviews more than, like, actual reviews, to be honest. Even though even though a lot of Steam reviews are memes, but, like, you know, usually if something's, like, overwhelming on Steam, it's usually going to be, you know, not terrible, so. Like, if I see a 70 on a game, like, 70% or something on a game, I'm like, oh, that game's fucking ass, because mo most modern, like, Critics will be like 70, it's ass. Well, like, kind of like what Ben said, where it's like, you know, Luigi's Mansion game sucks or whatever, 7 out of 10. Like, that's how I feel a lot of game reviewers do shit nowadays. That's why, when people ask me about a game and I'm like, oh, it's a 6, I'm like, bro, that's like better than an average game. That's like slightly better than the average game, right? And people are like, no, that means it's fucking ass. You know? Yeah, that's me with, like, Dead by Daylight, Lucre. I'm like, this game fucking sucks. It's ass. Zero out of ten. And then I have, like, 3,000 hours in it. Three plus out of five is a wreck. Yeah, 2.5 is borderline. Yeah. I, I, I agree with that. I mean, I was doing it with, like, a out of ten scale. But, yeah. No, like, I, I would 100% agree with that, Ben. You are a mo- Sure. Oh, he had, like, Ichimanji combo there. No, I'm so stupid. I need to be, like, paying really close attention to whether it's Sweep or Pierce after those. Because he's got both. There we go. Ichimanji, kaboom! How do you like that move, old man? No, I couldn't dash because I, w I couldn't dash through the snow because there's fire on the roof and no snow. Damn, I was I was like ready. I was ready for it. I knew what move was coming, but I couldn't do it. I think I was slightly late. Ow, ow. Old man got combo.
Ooh, that was a close one. That move's really quick for a piercing move. I feel like a lot of other piercing moves have like really long lined up. Ooh! Oh, yeah. That was a little scary. I can heal up here. One flasky. Oh, oh, he did forward move. I thought he always did like the other move first to start the phase, but I guess he can also do forward one, so I gotta be ready. No, dude, I thought it was Piercy style. Oh my god! I didn't know he tracks after the stomp. Is this the... Yeah, that's the arena move, okay. Oh, and I gotta remember, that's Virgil style right after that. I gotta remember that. But he's sitting there with his blade sheath, but he's actually he's actually Devil May Cry shit. Okay, I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna resurrect because I, I think we should save this once again for a better attempt. Um, this is actually worse than I remember. The core design, structure, and aesthetic presentation in the basic game feel are like are all excellent. Yet I hated Luigi's Mansion Three so acutely that I could not complete the game. There was no single puzzle that outwit me in the end. Instead, that rising sense of terrible dread just became too much. I wasn't even that far from finishing the game. I just couldn't grapple with the knowledge that all my suffering was a prelude to something worse. Wait, what the fuck is bro talking about? So is he saying that the puzzles were too hard for him or they were so easy that he didn't want to go through another easy puzzle? Bro is like, oh, I, the only thing that's worse than this game is going through another easy puzzle. Like, I'm so confused what he's talking about. I hereby forsake my master, the divine heir. This is how I review tacos. <laughs> Dude, that's how I review Bloodborne. I'm like, yeah, overall, it's a Souls game uh, made by From Software, so that shit's pretty damn good. Anyway, it fucking sucks. All the enemies suck. The game has no good mechanics, and it fucking sucks. Plus, I platinumed and finished it. <laughs> and did all the optional content. But to oppose the daughter of the late Lord Doga. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. All right, I dodged that because if you don't, then you get hit with like the weird thing, and I I felt like my deflects were were not impeccable, so I backed off. Oh shit. There goes my posture. Every time I say posture in reference to the Sekiro mechanic, I'm like, wait, I'm totally like probably nerd necking right now, and I should fix my posture, but then I don't because I'm too locked into the fight. Oh, dude, I remember, I remember uh, 12 minutes. I, did, I watched a lot of people play 12 minutes when it came out because it was kind of like, it was like, I guess I just had a big marketing campaign, right? So it was pretty hyped up or whatever. Um, so I remember watching a lot of people play that because when it was like a short game, people would play for like a day or two. Um, and it was pretty like hyped up, I guess. So I, I, I remember, I watched that a good bit. Sure. Um, my thing with reviews is you should talk your shit. If you don't like it, call it bad. How the fuck are you going to be objective about art like that? Who gives a fuck if it has no bugs or runs at 60? It's ass-assing. Just call it shitty. See, my problem with reviewing is I feel like I'm always hypercritical of negative things, but I can never really analyze super in-depth. Um, I can never really super in-depth analyze what I like about a game. Like, I can be like, oh, I like this, I like this, but I feel like I'm oh, I'm able to, like, analyze, like, the, the my critique more with the game than I am my, my, uh, like, what I enjoy about it, right? Like, I'd be like, oh, I like the gameplay feel, like, I like the, the, the gameplay loop and how the combat feels, right? But I can't really, like, that, like, it's sometimes it's hard to describe what the exact things are that, like, make it so nice. Um... 
So I feel like I tend to sound hypercritical about a lot of games. Uh, uh, like, Bloodborne and, like, the games I always sit on aside. Like, just in general. Um, just because I feel like a lot of games are... You know, I feel like the more you like something, the easier it is to point out its flaws, right? Um, you know, like, the more you like something, I feel like the flaws become more and more obvious. Um, I like talking about how a game made me feel, rather than trying to describe what specifically design-wise made it good or bad. Yeah, well, see, I like talk- I like, you know, I like both ways of it. Because, like, I- You know, in games like, uh... What's it called? Like, in games like Fire Emblem, like, I really like the new Fire Emblem because the gameplay, I think, is the best in the series because it allows for a lot of customizability and shit like that, right? And it helps you with, like... Like, it has, like, I guess, like, more player expression, right, than the other Fire Emblem games. But then, like, I also am like, oh, yeah, also that shit has way too many reinforcements that show up and, uh, like, out of nowhere with no warning and shit, like, this and that. And it, it feels like there's, like, so many negatives compared to the positives because I'm always, like talking about what 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 i didn't like about the game right um but then i'm like yeah but also it was really fun and i liked it smile you know um so sometimes it's a little uh you know it's hard to get that balance right I never did think I'd have to kill sheesh I need to get the timing on that better. I think I'm delaying it too much because Emma is like a slower fight and he's a faster fight. So I'm like trying to trying to delay it too much like Emma's attacks, but he's he's a faster version. Damn. He kinda like sidestepped that shit a little bit, bro. I had Sekiro dodge. He thinks he's John Sekiro. Damn, he's 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 got the he's got like the he turns he turns his back on my shit a little bit. No. Damn! Oh my god, dude. Sometimes old man got hands, and sometimes, uh. Sometimes old man got hands, and sometimes bro just gets, like, stuck. And, and I hit him a lot. That was kind of a late jump, so I'm glad they gave that to me. I think this game's kind of Elden Ring pilled with the jumps where if you like jump at any point, you're safe. No, I need to go forward, bro. I need to go forward, but I'm too scared. Oh, wait, that time I went forward, but bro was already like, like he was already off the mark because I did press forward there. Bro was just off the mark. No, my second one. Ah, uh, my legs, bro. <laughs> I know when I jump, I feel like I jumped way too early. That's why I like panic double jump. Sekiro, this is farewell. Oh, this is farewell. Um, I just talked shit or gush when I did one. Or like, when you did reviews. Um, yeah, Ghost of Tsushima has a PC port now, yeah. Like, I think it was like newer, but I think it got one, yeah, just recently. Really, Luke? Or I'm the other way. I... That's why the bosses... Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking get jumped here. The bosses in this game that force you to go for health? Because I, I think there are some bosses that force, like, one way or another pretty pretty heavily. Um, I always go for, for posture. Because I feel like posture is, like... A posture is how I play a lot of the Souls games. Um, I expected... Or, obviously, the posture's not in the Souls games, but, like... My boy. I love just, like, mastering a fight down to, like, a T, and then you, like, never struggle with it, with it again, you know what I mean? Like, I like, I like going, like, because technically I could buff up, and, um, you know, like, I don't know, there's, I feel like in this game there's ways to kind of make health damage more viable, right? Um... But this is, like, sort of my, my theory about how to handle Souls bosses, where I'll only buff up on, like, the final phase, or when I'm sure I'm gonna win or something. Or, like, why in this game I only use my revives if I think I'm gonna win, is because I feel like I shouldn't be reviving early on, because if you revive early on, like, you need to learn first phases of fights because you always need to fight them, right? Whereas if you get lucky on that one second phase, then you beat it and you're done, right? Um... 
you know? Whereas I, I like getting that, like, momentum and, like, feeling the... Feeling it out, you know? Like, I, I like to find out a counter to every single move if I can, you know what I mean? Like, in Souls game. Oh, shit, I thought I was out of range. Like, in Souls games, uh... You know, like, I, every single move a boss does... I mean, you know, not always is every single move punishable or whatever. But I like to, like, try to get every single weakness out of a boss if I can. This is a really bad run. Yo, can I, can I idle out of the fight? That'd be funny. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, well, you know, I'll get back up, but... Because it's my free revive, but this, is a, this feels terrible already. And now she's busting out new moves. Oh, she really is busting out new moves. And also, I feel like a lot with the Souls games, especially these two fights in particular, is, uh, healing kills the vibes a lot. Where, like, uh, like, certain bosses, um, certain bosses in Souls games punish healing way more than others. And I feel like if you're, like, like, uh, Gwyn, for example, well, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but Gwyn, for example, I feel like is a boss that if you heal outside of outside of designated like heal time like you need independent healing time versus Gwyn um like in the most recent randomizer we did I would try to heal outside of independent healing time versus Gwyn and you would just like the fight the whole fight had bad vibes after that moment right um like don't heal outside of independent healing right. time and those who, who have fought Gwyn will know what I'm talking about there is designated moment to heal versus Gwyn and if you heal outside of that you're fucked no less for um and I feel like this fight is very similar to that because they all dash forward on all their attacks so you gotta you gotta get that uh you gotta get your independent healing time that is every dark souls one boss nick i i heavily disagree <laughs> as someone who's played the game uh, a lot i heavily disagree with a lot of the bosses like i think a lot of soul boss or dark souls one bosses are like i will i will heal in your face and your ass will not do anything damn i'm getting freaked up I need to jump earlier on that grab, like jump diagonal and earlier. Ah, uh, sheesh. Um. But yeah, there's a couple bosses in this game that I think definitely force killing through health, and those are the ones that were like weird for me. Oh, yeah, no, I think some... Well, they don't read inputs, you know? It's more like you start the animation and they, and they react to it frame one, right? Um, You know? Bosses definitely do that in the Souls series. That's 100% a real thing. Is there certain... Like, that's why certain patterns you can abuse in Souls games by doing certain actions, right? Um, I expected but no less from you. That is reading the input? I, I guess so, but, like... The thing is, is in old games, like arcade games, they would literally read the input, right? Whereas, technically, like, you know, technically, and in, in, er, technically in Souls games, they're just reacting to stuff that you're already starting, right? Whereas, like, in, like, like in Souls games, there is not AI in place to read your input. It's more to read the, what you're doing, but... You know, I, 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 I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but it's just like, er, technically... My, my. Not bad at all. Godskin literally does it? What does Godskin do with... Like, like what is Godskin's uh, input reading you. shit? Have I might be stupid. I don't... I don't know. I, 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 Godskin is not like a super crazy boss for me personally. Oh, they always black flame on Estus. I guess I never noticed that. I have yeah, KO at 15. Yeah, there you go. Before. Um... I feel like the old MKs, like the arcade MKs, were definitely notorious for input reading, right? As such. Obviously with most arcade video games, right? Um, pretty obvious, I don't know. I, like I said, I never really struggled super hard with, with god skins, so maybe that's just why my uh, I don't recognize it as much. You know, like, it, you're gonna notice those patterns with bosses you obviously fight more, right? Or fight for longer periods of time. So. Well, no, I agree, Twinkie, but what I'm saying is, like, I just, you know, like, I did not, I beat them in, you know, 
not in like a few amount of attempts, so like I didn't see it. I probably just didn't notice it as much, you know what I mean? There's five dodge skins, yeah, and like maybe one of them was like more than a first try or more than a one attempt. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, Twinkie, you, you definitely have played at least more playthroughs than I have because I've only done like one full playthrough, and then the rest were kind of like speed runs. And I don't remember how many dodge skins like I did in each of those because, well, I know there's obviously there's the one, there's the one infamous one, um, right? But. I'll kindle all bonfires for 15 flats and drink in the gun of Dark Souls 1 boss from now on? Well, there you go. Um, but why not kindle the 20 flats, Nick? Am I right or am I right? Um, what was I gonna say? Godskin, um, fatty butthole. Um, which is, which one is that? That's Noble, right? Noble is fatty butthole? That one has, uh, Nick, I know you mentioned the, the roly-poly move earlier. That move is actually, is actually punishable. Um, if you if you know a thing or three, um, but it seems uh, like like most souls like AI are abusable once you know a thing or three. You fall to Shura. No, no, I agree, I agree. And also that move has a weird property like Ornstein's dash in uh, in Dark Souls One, where for some reason sometimes he can animation cancel that shit like crazy. Which Ornstein can do with his dash in Dark Souls 1, which is, like, also crazy, but Dark Souls 1, the moves are, you know, not as crazy as Elden Ring moves, I would say. Um, so, Ornstein doing it in Dark Souls 1 is not as crazy, but it's still, like, fucked up. Um, but yeah, that, that is a weird thing that both his, his rolly move and Ornstein have, where sometimes they just get the animation cancel that shit for free, which is weird. No! Oh, okay, okay. I, th I thought he, like, staggered me fully, so I wasn't gonna be able to dash it. Or, like, stomp it, you know what I mean? I mean, with the spiky garber, yeah, you, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta fight fire with fire, you know what I mean? He does roll the move, you gotta roll back, kaboom. Ah, oh, come on. I think I'm just waiting too long, like, I, like I'm waiting for, like, the Emma move. Like, I'm waiting slightly too long. Alright, that move might just be better to sidestep. Yeah, then I'm guaranteed punish compared to maybe missing the deflect and not getting any punish. Alright, this is floor, right? Oh no, that's like weird one, okay. So he has three fire moves, it looks like, okay. Oh, this is all floor, right? Okay. Oh god, there's a lot. Oh, right, Virgil move? Oh, and then the last one, okay. Gotta be ready for the, like, the last delayed one a little bit. Stomp that shit a little bit. Oh! Jump. I need to jump onto him, but whatever. Ow! No! No, no. Damn. I was going through the fire and the flames. Oh, I knew that was fire move, but I didn't. I didn't react in time. That move also has like a weird delay to it that I'm not get. It, I'm not getting like the actual deflect on it yet. Oh, that! I didn't realize those were attacks in the first of that. I thought he just. I thought that was just him summoning the fire. I didn't realize he actually hits you. So I can actually parry those. I can parry those probably, and then, and then move out of the way, which actually would be pretty neat. And then I can parry the Virgil move. <laughs> I jumped off Bro's head a little bit. Nice hex, Luke or true. 
I hear. Alright, uh, here we go. Let us nope. Begin. Ouchie. Oh, that's crab. I, I was trying to jump off her head again because I saw her point her sword at me. Ow. No, that move is so delayed. Dude, the delay between her versus, like, the no delay in Ishin is so... is so... Um, that's a mix-up, bro. Okay. No! Chuck called my win at the beginning of phase two. That was crazy. Yeah, Chuck script. I, yeah, I leaked the script to Chuck, so I let him know how many attempts it was. I let him know a little bit. I let it. I, let, I, let, I sneaked it to him. Wait, how did they not notice me this time? No, <laughs> I just wanted to assassinate him just, just because I snuck up on them. Oh well. You can chill back there. I hear. I hear by. You know what I'm saying? There's a good flow you can get in with this fight, but sometimes, sometimes she doesn't want to obey the flow. Sometimes she wants to break the cycles of life. I want this shit to be like Xenoblade 3 and she don't, she want to break that cycle. No! No, I jumped off the wall and not her head. <laughs> I can just do jumping Ichimanshi. I don't need to. Oh, I didn't. I didn't do diagonal. Yo, what's up, Joey? How you doing? Guys, do you guys all enter the stream now and say hi because of the funny emoji, or or do you guys just love opening? Like, is that is that you guys just like opening with hi? Or do you guys hit that shit now because it's the funny emoji? I thought I didn't delay it enough. Joey, you saw the Marvel Collection thing, right? We watched the direct at the beginning of my stream and that shit was pretty hype. <laughs> I was stolen from me as a word, but in return I got a funny emoji. Wait, Joey, you did not see it? Joey, they announced, like, it's, like, X-Men versus, uh, X-Men superheroes, X-Men versus Street Fighter, Marvel versus Capcom 2, like, all in a collection, like, the Capcom fighting, or, uh, collection. You were almost unkind and inauspicious. Yeah, am I as unkind and inauspicious? Whatever. Sure. Grow up, old man. Yeah, that first move right there that he did, like, you have to delay the parry on that, but he, like, stomps at you, so I get scared. I'm like, oh, he's stomping at me, bro. It's the stomper. Ah. But Joey, there was mandatory direct viewing. Come on. I gotta, like, not swing randomly, because then he does the weird back dodge thing that he does, which is, like, really fucked up. Either that, or I just gotta be prepared for the back turn, because then he always follows it up with that one slash. So I probably just gotta swing, and then I can probably parry the follow-up, I would imagine. 
But he always he always hits like the back turn like twirly move, and that shit's pretty that shit's pretty crazy a little bit. Oh. No, no, Marvel vs. Capcom Unlimited is not real. Grow up. That's like Maximilian Dude. Maximilian Dude made that game. Let us begin. Ow. Damn, why did she stagger so much? I, I didn't have time to jump there. I want my, my epic punish. No, dude. It's that one combo where she does like the weird sword thing at the end. And uh and what's it called? That one combo's flipped up. Yeah, this combo right here. Ow. Yeah, it's training mode and stuff, yeah. It's pretty dope, right? Oh, that move is so delayed, dude. Like, I, I, I had the right option, but she delays it so much. She's got the... This might be, uh... Guys, write this down. This might be the, uh... This might be the first, uh, Elden Ring-like move. Take notes. Take notes. Can't wait for Capcom Fighting Collection 2, Part 2 to get buried. <laughs> sure. Boom. Oh, there we go. I just gotta be ready if he's gonna do the back turn move. Oh, he's so quick with it. Oh, there's a spinny move. Bro. This guy needs to grow up. This guy needs to grow up and stop doing spinny move. Don't get Hector on X-Men vs. Street Fighter, he was cooking me. How much was the first Marvel, uh, or, uh, Capcom collection? Was it 60? Because I imagine... I don't know, Marvel 2. I hear they could charge like 70 or something and people would buy it, right? So I'm worried. It, I think it was 30? I hope so. I hope this one's 30, but I don't know. It has Marvel 2 in it. They could charge one gazillion dollars and I'd be... Uh, yeah, I know people would still buy it, so I'm a little worried. Twinkies people, by the way. See, like, sometimes you can kind of trap her into this, like, weird back and forth. No, dude, it's so delayed! <laughs> there we go. See, that's what I like about the sword fights in this game, is sometimes you can get in a nice, like, flow or like that, but... <laughs> I'll pay any money. I don't know, I, I hope the new collection is, uh... Yeah, see, I, I, I'm down for it, too. I, I'd be down to hop on. Um, sure. right? I'd be down to hop on the new one. To kill your kind again. Oh, 
Oh. No. Bro, stay in the corner, old man, where you belong. Boom. Stupid old man. Yeah, I don't give a shit whether you're done or not. Aw, oh, that's a double hit in two. Uh, Virgil move. No, the final move is also, is also rough timing. Ah, dude. Ugh, such a good first and second phase. Or, sorry, uh, well, I guess, like, Emma plus first phase, or whatever you want to call it. But, dude, ugh. The timing on the third one is also... I haven't, I haven't had enough time in the, in the last phase. Um, the uh, training mode additions is the main draw. That kid still has the right. fastest matchmaking. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I think uh, I expected. I don't know. No less from you. I just feel like I feel like Marvel Two people like you know people have have wanted a uh like a modern port for so long. I would be surprised if people don't hop on the new collection. Obviously, I'm not saying like fight gates in a die out or anything. There'll still be people on both, right? But I'm hoping uh, people go to the collection because I don't know. I, I, I think the collection is kind of dope and I might want to hop on because I would like training mode. That's neat. Ow. Oh, this is this is rough. A rough start. Um, how am I today? I'm good. The uh, the direct was pretty hype. I think the direct was pretty good, Joey. Do you mind if I spoil some things, or do you want to go watch through it later? Go ahead. Okay. The uh, hit you. Oh, okay. Starts fucking beating you to death. Anyway. Um. The uh. So, uh, honestly, Donkey Kong Country Returns was announced for Switch, which is hype for Funky Monkey Friday. But unfortunately, it's not until next year, so we need to play... We're going to do Tropical Freeze, then that shit will return. Funky Monkey Friday Returns. Um, so that's dope that that's coming to Switch, so more Funky Monkey Friday. Um, there was Mar new Mario & Luigi game, Joey. I don't know if you're a Mario & Luigi head like that, but new Mario & Luigi game... Um, and then, uh, there's, there's a new Zelda game, which, you know, you're like, why, why is surely one hype for the new Zelda game? It actually looks pretty fun. So I would, I would say check it out if, uh, cause it's like a new, like, it's kind of like the Link's Awakening. I would assume the same engine as Link's Awakening, the new one, but, uh, at least like same art style and all that. But, uh, it has like a dope new, uh, like mechanic and it kind of looks fun. Yo, I wouldn't think that that's true. I am Zelda's greatest defender, after all. Oh yeah, there's the Dragon Quest 3 uh, remake was shown off, and they announced a 1 and 2. Or I guess not remake, but like pixel remaster, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Or is that shit considered a remake? We always have the remake talk, you know. The requestening, if you will. Yeah, more Mario and Luigi's hype, and it looks pretty, pretty dope. Like, the game, I think, looks pretty, and the animations are all dope as hell, what they've shown off. No! <laughs> okay, hold on. I, I can get back up and and do this. Oh, I hate that move. Uh, 
Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, yes, yes, um, new Mario Party, yeah. Um, the only thing concerning about it is that it has, um, it has, it, it's titled Super Mario Party Jamboree, but Super Mario Party scares me, that part scares me, but it has a Fall Guys mode, which is epic, and it has, um, it, it brings back Mario Party 2 Hootenanny stage, it brings back the Wild West stage from Mario Party 2, which is fucking goaded. Oh, and Switch Sports update added basketball. Switch Sports they added uh Switch Sports update added basketball. Kaboom. Sure. See you on that, Joey. Ow. Looks like you really can't teach an old dog new tricks. Never mind, he learned a new trick. No! Why do I stink? Aw, oh, come on. He, he really hit me with the mix-up there. I mean, that was a good phase too, but I don't know. I don't know if I use a revive here. Like, I, I was pretty close to getting him into the last phase, but I don't know. Yeah, like, you can switch sports out of the garbage disposal. So true. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't I didn't check the server other than like the most recent messages because like you know, how could I not open the server this morning? Um but I was, you know, I I knew I knew I I would it would behoove me to uh to not look up, you know what I mean? I hear so I didn't I I did not I did not scroll up. You know, I agree, Hector. A lot of new exciting things. Which is exactly what they needed to do here, because... There was not a lot of games we knew about, right? And and what did they do? Prime 4 was a big announcement, because they finally were like... They finally decided to show that game off, right? Finally showed off Metroid Prime 4. That's exciting. Um, so, like, a couple of the games that we did know about were, like, shown off a little bit more. Like, Prime 4. Like, the one, the one small one, right? And then they hit off a bunch of uh, a bunch of new games that we didn't know about that I think are still pretty exciting. Um, so, yeah, dude, they 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 were like mature seventeen plus Nintendo sixty four, and they didn't add Conkers. I was surprised Conkers Bad Fur Day was not there. Um, sure. You know, that's what I thought. Like, if they were gonna make something like that, it would have been literally made for Conkers, but. I mean, I get why they can't. They might like not be able to have conquers, right? Because the rare shit. But, but I don't know. That I felt like if they're gonna make that, why, like conquers is the main attraction, right? And then they didn't have it. So surprising for me. Oh. Bad, uh, bad parry. Oh, the double Ichimanji got my ass. No! That move staggers so bad. I get away for John Secure to almost fall over. There we go. I'm not done, Sekiro.
Oh, wait, this is flame on the floor. Help! There's flame on the floor. Tech, uh, Virgil move? I almost said Sekiro move, which is, is not wrong, right? But... I just be able to jump off the roof and leave, be like, fuck this boss fight, I'm done with it now. No! That shit's fire! I, I gotta go through the fire and the flames, but like, I shouldn't be. No! No, dude, I got crumbled. Oh, wait, wait, that was better than getting hit by the last hit, though. The last hit does more damage, so. Kinda low profiled me a little bit. No, I need to dodge through that. Why Why would he not dodge, Sekiro? For the sake of Sekiro, dodge! Oh, I get up. We get up. I think we get up here. All right, fucking longest death animation ever, bro. John Sekiro, get up. We need you, Master Chief. Oh, no. Run. No! Oh, hey. Why is bro so scared? Stop running from me! Wait, why? Ooh! Now the backswing! The killer backswing! There is no way bro's got backswing like that! No way bro had killer backswing like that. You stink! So if I'm on... What was that? I was on his left side, right? No, I was on his right side. So if I'm on his right side, I gotta watch out for killer backswing. I gotta watch out for backshots. Hold on, what did, what did Japan get? What is this? That'd be like the worst game I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I was right. This shit looked like the worst fucking shit ever. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, have you played Conquers the Giant Poo song hit really hard when I was 10 going through YouTube? <laughs> I have not played Conquers. I think it would be an exciting one to play through on, like a like a fun one to play through. Uh, a fun one to play through on stream. Um, which is why I was like, wait, this would make sense if they put it here because that would also be a spot hitter. I expected. Not even a comment, bro. I I looked at that shit. That shit looked like fucking Panzer Dragoon if it was ass. That shit looked like the Fire Emblem Engage mini game, and I was like, bro, your ass could just play Fire Emblem Engage if you wanted this mini game. Damn, I freaking stink. Oh, and H Hector, Hector hit me with a mind flood. Hector hit me with the, Hector hit me with the worst game of all time, mind flood. I forgot we were playing Sekiro. That would be a hitter for stream. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why I was like, wait, because also like, you know, when you think of like, oh hey, a, like an N64 game, like much a mature M64 game. What were you thinking, right? Like, what would you first think of? And for me, it was Conquers. I don't know if, uh... I don't know if, like... I don't know what else people would, uh... Like, I don't know. To me, that's the first thing that comes to mind. I don't know if that's the same way for everyone else, but... For me, like, the first thing I thought of was Conquers, and I was like, that would be so epic if they did that, right? So... I wanted it to be real. And we also got, like, the Donkey Kong announcement, so, like, I don't know. That, that's, like, too, you know, like, rare. Or, like, you know, Donkey Kong and rare and Conquerors and rare, right? So, like, I don't know. It would have been a... You know, that would have been neat, right? No, I stink. It's weird, because sometimes her combo there... Here, I'll get back up. Why not? Sometimes her combo there, you deflect the first one and the combo, like she drops her combo so you can punish, but sometimes I go to swing and then she has a double. Unless they are different combos, but they kind of look really similar, so it's hard to tell. No!
Dude, I hate when the bosses do the sidestep. I don't know why. When I see them do, like, like they back off and do a sidestep, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, I, I feel like they're plotting something, you know? Like, they're cooking something up, de uh, something devious up. Sure. Okay, I, I thought he was going for grab. So I jumped diagonally. But that was Pierce's move, I could have stepped it. No! Oh, was it because I was a little diagonal? I thought I was going forward, dude. Help! He, like, canceled Ichimanji there. I was thinking about it a little bit, but didn't do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I think I'll heal here just to top off a little bit. Oh, he's doing floor move. Oh, okay, good. No, dude, I gotta go right, I think, on that move. Oh, God. Or no, I guess I just... I, if I just dash through the sword itself, then we're fine. Okay. Oh, watch out. Floor move. No, dude, the last hit! Eh. Eh. Yeah. Extra revive? Probably not. Probably not. Dude, the, uh, like, the, uh, what's it called? The, the, the Virgil move is, it, <laughs> good try, just get it, you stink! Dude, the Virgil move is, like, is killer. And plus getting hit with the back shots, I mean, the, uh, backswing of his, uh, of his flamey move is a little rough. But I think I just time my dodge through his sword directly, and then I'm good. Dark Souls style. I hear. But I think the thing is I'm dodging to the left, so it's delaying. Like, it's delaying, so I'm getting hit by the backswing, you know what I mean? Yikes. Whereas if I just wait for the sword swing itself, I can just dodge through that and then hope... I had, haven't been hit by the fire, but that's kind of what I was worried about, was the lingering fire and getting hit by that afterwards. Yo, Joey, I don't think I've asked you, Joey, are you going to hop on Dragon Ball Sparking Zero when that comes out, or nah? I don't know if you're... That's like an arena fighter, right? But I don't know if you're... I don't know if you think that shit's awesome or not. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. It's more a Budokai type? No, it's not a Budokai type. It's a Budokai Tenkaichi-like, or Raging Blast-like, which is the Arena Fighter types. Uh, Budokai is the 2D one that's like actually like more of a fighting game. Sure. Like, Sparking Zero is a continuation of Budokai Tenkaichi, which is the Arena Fighter one. Oh, I didn't get that. Old Codger sometimes just misses me when I get, like, good... I'm, like, ready to get a good punish, and Old Codger misses me. Now he's gotta kiss me. Yo, sometimes he cancels Ichimanji now. Bro, he's got Ichimanji cancel. I respectfully will not be hopping on. Hector, is that a decision that was made today because of all the other October games, or uh, was were you just not going to hop on that? Oh, I, is that no hit? No hit phase one and two? Or I guess, like, no damage because my, my stuff healed. No, dude, that last one is such a weird timing. 
No, I was too close to just outrun it. I had to dodge, too. Okay. Wait, my posture, bro! Does burn fuck you up your posture, too? Maybe it does. My floor move. Dude, that move is so rough. The last parry is so weird. Oh, you Chimanji move? Kaboom. Ugh. Oh, wait, wait, we got it. Hold up. But he didn't do the follow up to that. That's weird. I thought Bro was forced to do follow up. Or into Ichimanji for us to follow up. Oh, and boom. Uh, um, hopefully- oh god. No, I was gonna say, hopefully no, no more phases. But you never know. It was not to be. Boom. On my evil shit? It was crazy how- how the first run of this- One mind. Oh, I got like his- his- his Virgil move. It's crazy how, like, my first time fighting him, I made it straight, th th yeah, straight through phase one and two, and then didn't, um, and then died phase three, compared to, like, my other attempts where, well worth the wait. like, you know, but I guess it's all about learning the fight. Despite you took a nappy on lunch break? Nature, nice. Few could hope to defeat a man such as Ishii. By George, he's done it. George who? Like, like, uh, uh, the uh, Curious? The Curious I'm after, or? I would expect no less from my home. No, nothing stands in our way. Ah, Shida. The interior ministers. The whole country. Oh, by George Costanza, okay. Indubitably. Kaboom. I like evil endings like this. Kaboom. Nice sword now. No! You're... Oh, ho, ho. You be, Shira! Merry Christmas. On oh, my evil shit. Soldiers and town folk alike died by the thousands. Did we win? Yeah, that's the evil ending, Joey. Um, those Very two bosses, survived. or whatever that I fought right there at the end, um, those are like exclusive Ashina to this ending, so I never got to fight them. That's why we're doing this ending. Of the Sengoku era. And for a long time after, it was said a demon lurk the land yay happy happy everyone yay hey hey yee. <laughs> anyone else really happy right now boom we did it um i will say that was a good boss for uh that was a good boss for like like i'm, I'm kind of surprised that was a boss that was locked 
away behind like the ending you know what i mean like you know i thought maybe it was gonna be like a ripoff boss sort of deal where it's kind of like eh, a parody this boss but that, that was actually pretty nice i kind of like that but it feels weird to have that like locked out by an ending but it was still dope it was still dope don't get it twisted um this dumb fucking bitch at work keeps having me pull checks for her sure whatever but she can never send me the info i need for the checks right so she always forgets something no matter how many times i tell her what i need damn Sorry to hear that, witch. Hold on, I'm alt-tabbing, so the game might break a little bit. Or a lot of bit. I think everything broke. I'll play it if people are around. I love shilling DBZ. See, I love it too. And it, it is going to be silly, Joe. It is going to be silly. They already confirmed that the game will not be balanced. L l like, Hercule is not going to be power-scaled to, like, Super Saiyan 4 fucking glub shit -o. So, So, like, they confirmed, like, that shit will be silly style. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited, personally. But I also, like, I'm a, I'm a personally already a shill for, for Dragon Ball games. Oh god, it's kinda, kinda loud. Uh, turn, turn it down, turn it down a notch. Is this too loud for you guys, or can you hear me over it? Or is it, like, loud for you guys, too? No, Joey, he doesn't bring the jetpack in this game. In this game, he can just, like, double jump. And when he powers up, he, like, instead of getting, like, an aura, um, instead of getting off an aura, Joey, he, like, when he, when he powers up, it's, like, a, he gets, like, a, he gets, like, a, like, it looks like a, like, a spotlight on him and, like, confetti and shit. I fuck with Dragon Ball, but I'm expecting it to be Omega Mid? I mean, were you not a fan of the Tenkaichi games? Because I feel like it'll just play like Tenkaichi. I think the problem is, is that I think people glorify the Tenkaichi games going to be like, like people are like, oh, if Tenkaichi is remade, that shit will be peak. I think a lot of people like glorify that shit and they're not ready for an, uh, just another arena fighter. Um, which is funny because that's exactly what the game is. And that's what Sparking Zero is going to be because they said it's going to be like Tenkaichi. Which is an arena fighter. But I feel like people... I feel like people in their head, they're like, that shit was peak. And then they're going to get arena fighter. And then they're going to be like, wait, this is just an arena fighter. And then be upset about it. Um, but I'd be happy if that wasn't the case. Because, like, I, I personally am excited for it to be just another arena fighter, right? Um, but I feel like people are like, this shit's going to be peak. And then they're going to get arena fighter and be upset. I fuck with them for novelty. Now, I agree. Like, I, I'm... As, as much as funny as it is, because I'm always like Dark Souls 3 is just Dark Souls 1 bat chest. I fuck with arena fighters for being like, here's like epic references and stuff. Like in my opinion, I would say one of the best, uh, like I guess anime fan service games with, uh, with like, uh, in terms of like quality and stuff is probably All Star Battle, like JoJo. Uh, well, I should say JoJo All Star Battle R because that one, like, like that shit actually has like a, a funny amount of depth to it, which makes it like really awesome. I do this for you multiple times a day. How can you fuck it up every time when I only need three things? And rant, it's just mad irritating. I've been helping this dumb bitch for a few weeks. Still same issue. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Well, Eyes of Heaven is fun. I think Eyes of Heaven is a lot of fun, but I don't think Eyes of Heaven has steps to it like All-Star Battle does. Like, All-Star Battle feels like they were like, let's make a fan service game that's actually like a fun game to play. Yeah, right, Joey? I 100% I agree. I 100% agree with that. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot was really good for that, because that game was like... That game just looked so nice. I think that game looked amazing, and the gameplay was fun enough to... You know, to also make it fun, right? Um... But yeah... I mean, I guess All-Star Battle isn't really an arena fighter per se, right? But, um, because it's kind of more of a traditional fighting game, but I, I still think it's a very, um, I still think it's a very, um, it's a very, very good game for, for a fan service like game. Probably because it's like a second iteration, right, of a fan service like game, but. It goes on sale for the price of a Big Mac meal. Yeah, but Joey wants a Big Mac meal. Kaboom. <laughs> yeah, but Joey says wants a Big Mac meal. Let's get real. Um.
You know, I, I, I played uh, Kakarot when it was new. Um, and I didn't play the DLC, and I'm sure the DLC is, is also even more fun because some of that, like, because I know they did some of the older Dragon Ball stuff, which is dope. Um, and seeing that with a fresh coat of paint and all that would be pretty neat. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I thought Kakarot was a very good game. But also, once again, it is quite literally just a Dragon Ball, in terms of base game, it's just a Dragon Ball Z story. Um... And I think the gameplay is repetitive, but like, I don't know. If you're if you fuck with arena fighters, I think you will fuck with Kakarot. And I fuck with arena fighters, so I fucked with Kakarot like a lot. I thought it was a very good uh game. I thought it was a very good game. But once again, it's hard to recommend a like it quite literally, it's the Dragon Ball story told again in an arena fighter format. But I think it is the best time like it is their best uh it is their best, um, what, I guess, like, iteration of it, right? Like, this is the best they've done of it yet, in my opinion. This is the best, uh, version of one yet, so. Dragon Ball Super Game? See, that would be dope. Like, like unironically, that would be dope. Well, I think they said the new one. DBZ fight getting the Raditz fight? Dude, and Raditz is a dope villain. Raditz is a dope villain, in my opinion, so... I like it. I fuck with it. Um, anyway, here's playthrough 2. Um... A Dragon Ball Super game would be dope. I think they said in Sparking Zero that the story's gonna go up to the Tournament of Power arc, so... You know, everything we've seen in the anime. I think they said it's gonna go up to. Although, I don't think it's, like... I don't think they're showing me every single fight or anything. I think they're just gonna do, like, uh like, bits and pieces, right? So you'll probably do, like, Goku versus Jiren. You'll probably do, like, Frieza and Goku versus uh, Jiren, like this and that, you know what I mean? <laughs> DBFZ2, just to add Raditz, shafted, I know. Dude, Raditz is, like, Raditz, I really like Raditz. I'm sad that, uh, I'm really sad that Raditz is not in Fighters, because, like, uh, his voice is so iconic to me. Like, like a lot of his shit is just so iconic because I don't know. He's kind of, he's got it. Like, he's the guy who starts it all pretty much. And I don't know. He's just like, he's a funny ass villain because to me, he's like the perfect mix of like cocky plus like smug plus like, like actually just a, a like guy fucking is stupid. Yeah, I want to hear Double Sunday. <laughs> I don't know. He, and he has this, this, such a good voice actor. Anyway. Um, no, no playthrough two, no playthrough two. Um, Saturday Crush, I know, dude, it, 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 like, he's just, he's just funny guy, he's just funny guy, and I like that, I like that about him. Anyway, um, we did it, guys, we did it, I don't know, what now? What, what do we do now, guys? Do we play with toys for an hour, or what do we do? Toys for an hour. The good ending was better. What of this game? Um, I think the boss fight at the end was more hype and more climatic, right? As it should be for a good ending. Did I beat it? Yeah, I beat it. Um, I think the 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 tr like the I guess the true final boss he gave up. Yeah, guys, I, I, I was, that shit was really hard. Let's not play that again. Um, what's it called? So the good ending, I don't know, I like evil endings. I, I think that ending, like the cinematic and shit, was hype. I like that, like, evil endings. I like evil shit. I like being an evil motherfucker in terms of ending, and I think that delivered exactly what I wanted from an evil ending, right? Because I like when endings aren't good or bad. I like when they're good or evil, and I'm a fucking evil motherfucker. Um, so I like that ending. Um, but in terms of boss fights, the true boss fight, and the true route also has a couple of boss fights along the way. I like, I think those are two of my favorite fights are locked behind the true route or the good route or whatever. Um, so one, Luke, I'm excited to see you fight those bosses because you have a couple of bosses that I really like from this game coming up. And, um, and an area that I really like, uh, like all things considered, like, like everything locked behind the true route, I think is some of my favorite parts of the game. So it's a little sad that the bad route locks you out of that or the evil route. Um, and also, like I said, the, the, the boss is also locked behind it. I think... One of them is, like, my favorite fight from a hype perspective. Like, I think the fight is, like, uh, like awesome. Like, I think it's just an awesome pill. And then the final, the final, final fight is also just a great fight, all things considered. Um, but the fight, the other fight before that one is also, like, just hype. That shit's, like, that, that shit's, like, hype beast fight for me, personally. So, I like that one a lot as well. Um, 
Though it's a sad we didn't get to do them again, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, what, buck up and drive? I, we could buck up and drive a little bit, maybe, perhaps. We had Bellatro, maybe, a little bit. Um, actually, no, but Bellatro, I feel like it's too long. Like, one Bellatro run is, like, um, five million hours. So maybe, maybe we should play buck up and drive. Um... Wait, Sejam just went live, guys. Sejam just went live. Do you guys want me to raid Sejam? One hour to beat Celeste? What do you mean? Like, like, the, like all the bonus content that I missed? One hour to beat all of it? Oh, okay. Wait, guys. Northern Lion streaming Lethal Company. Wait, Ares is playing Demon Souls. Um... Oh, is Yogi playing Elden Ring? We could raid Yogi. Well, we would play our toys first, but... Wait, do I not follow Yogi? I'm gonna be a fake ass if I don't follow Yogi. No, no, I wouldn't end without toys. You're right. I wouldn't end without toys. Um, Hold up, let me... Do I not follow Yogi? I might be fake ass. No, no, I definitely wouldn't end without toys. Oh, let me see. Is he on Elden Ring? New playthrough DLC prep. Oh, shit, he is. He is. Um, here, let's play our toys, then. Let's play our toys, and then we can raid Yogi. Um, that sounds good to me. Um, hold on. Where's stream? Hi, guys. Which chewed the head off my Mega Man X toy? Oh, God, Spock. Spell check today was rough. What happened? Um, oh, right, let's see. We get Game Duel. We get, um, guess the game. We get, um, what do we get? We get what we get and we don't get upset. No, 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 we definitely get upset. Um, hold up. Pokey doll? Um, Pokey Doku, right, right? Can't forget that one. We get Smash doll. We get spell check and then we get VGM hurdle or VGM hurdle and spell check. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I probably should bookmark them, Hector, and then I can just like bing, 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 like get them all right. Probably should do that. Um. Anyway, boom. Oh, it's a little cropped weird because of uh, we were watching video. Boom. Wait, that didn't boom in. Hold on. And boom. There we go. Um, okay. Uh, motorcycle. Boom. I know motorcycle. Imbibe. 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 A verb meaning drink. Enbibin originates from Latin. Imbibe. I think it's imbibe. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't know. That doesn't look right. I, 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 I mean, I've heard this word before, but I actually, I mean, like, who uses imbibe over, like, drink, right? Um, I think it's imbibe, but I don't know. I don't know. It kind of looks wrong. Imbibe. No, no, it's imbibe, isn't it? It's imbibe. It's imbibe like that, right? Probably, if I had to guess. No, it's imbibe, isn't it? Fuck, bro. I hate, I hate this narrator. Intellectual. Intellectual. That's what I am. Bro, we got the first one on easy wrong. Puzzles. Puzzles. Toys. Gargantuan. Gargantuan. That's a fun word. Gargantuan, I spelled that right, I think. Scorch. Scorch. Um, the so spot got all easy, right? Okay. So I'm a dumbass already. Well, let's see. Maybe I make up for it. Clatter. Clatter. Boom. Anoint. A verb. Anoint. I think I know anoint. Wait, spot got that one wrong. Impresario. A noun meaning the promoter, oh. manager, or conductor of an opera or concert company. Impressa is... I think we... Didn't we get this? I don't know. Maybe we didn't. Impresario. Kaboom. Boom. Crockery. A noun meaning earthenware. Crockery. A noun... Isn't crockery the motherfucker from uh, Fairy Odd Parents? Kaiser. Kaiser. Yo, Joey, like Ludwig, right? Joey, am I right? Like Ludwig, right? Eh? Eh? You know what I'm talking about? Pinniped. A noun. Pinniped. 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 
a noun meaning any of an order or suborder, pinnipedia, of aquatic carnivorous mammals. Pinniped, kaboom. Putrefaction. A putrefaction. Don't, don't get it twisted. I don't need to hear the definition. Putrefaction. Goanna. A noun meaning any of several large Australian monitor lizards. Genus Varanus of the family Varanidae. Goanna. 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 Supercilious. A adjective. Fucking uh, supercilious. That's what I am. Supercilious. Boom. No, no. It's got to be a C, right? They got to put a C, right? Supercilious, eh? No. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Camarilla. A Camarilla. A noun meaning a group of unofficial, often secret and scheming advisors. Also, cabal. This word originated from Spanish, and it literally translates to small room. Camarilla. Camarilla. Boom! Boom! Wait, I might have beat Spock today. Hold up. Hold up. Boy, give me the score. Show me the car facts. Oh my god, I beat Spock! Spock. Boom. Ah, two ends here. Oh, it's E. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I had that one. Yeah, that whatever. M vibe. It was a mix between the two I was between. I was between EM and, and IN, and it was right in the middle. Um, Raw was crazy. No, Raw was crazy. Raw was, Raw was pretty good. Um, it was pretty good. I will not lie. Um, that show was pretty hype. I had a boss named Jimmy Kaiser. We looked at pictures of crabs together, and one time he said bukake seasoning when he meant furukake. Nice. Um... Yeah, Cam Gorilla. Yay! Um. Yeah, why'd you get the... It literally translates to, like, like, grow up. And for some reason you did two ends with annoying? Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Sometimes you make that mistake. Sonic 2? Okay, Sonic 2. It's Sonic 2 then. Boom. Sonic 2. Alright, wise guy, pick which one. Oh, it's Sonic 1. That's Sonic 1 now. Sonic the Hedgehog. Which one now? Marble Zone. Awful level. <laughs> Bro, it's Sonic. All the levels are awful. Kaboom. Um, anyway, this is Sonic. Kaboom. Damn, not a hedgehog. Rough. Ooh, older than Sonic. Older than Sonic. Mario! Wait. What? Oh, wait, between Mario and Sonic. No, no, isn't Pac-Man older than Mario, though? And they're not from 64 or Brawl. Is Pac-Man in the middle? Is he? I thought he was older. Am I wrong about that? No, they're in between Sonic and Mario. Link? Link's a good guess. He came from, what, Melee, right? So that Link is a good guess. Yeah, I'll do Link. Link's Hylian, not human. Oh, fuck, he's human. I thought he was Hylian. Oh, wait, he is in 64. I'm so stupid. Sometimes I'm so stupid. Oh, wait, so he's between 1986 and 1990. On NES. Falcon? But Falcon's human, too, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, he's Hylian. He's got those elf ears. See, that's what I was thinking, right? Um, NES. NES non-human male. Oh, Fox. Is Yeah, is Star Fox originally on NES? I'm not sure. No, Game & Watch is way older, right? Oh, Fox is SNES album Mega Man. Mega Man's a robot, right? So, boom, boom. There we go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Oh, this is a snake. 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 Boom. Harry. The hat that says Fatal Fury, like I wonder who this is. Ryu.
Loud! Okay, everything else today was super easy. Like, easiest day of Smash, still other than maybe, like, the main one. Why are we on Silhouette? Whatever, this is, uh... Zigzagoon. Now, Zigzagoon's, like, Gen 3, right? Who is this? Uh... Why are they so spiky, but, like, not spiky at the same time? They're, like, round and spiky. Is it Gengar? Nah, it's too pointy for Gengar, right? Oh, Mankey or Primeape? I think Mankey, maybe. Yeah, Man Mankey might make the cut. Oh, nice. It was weird, because he's, like, spiky, but not, right? I was like, hmm, what's up with that? Um, okay, uh, Arbok. Kaboom. Send it. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, Evolution Stage 2, hold up. Smaller than Arbok, but weighs more. Um, and they're dual-type. They are dual-type. Um, dual-type Stage 2. Uh, Kakuna. Kakuna's poison, right? Or no, it's Kakuna... Graveler, I like that, I like that. Okay, they, they didn't like that shit, though. They did not like that shit. Heavier than Graveler. Gloom. I also, I think I could fuck with that, but is Gloom purple? I guess maybe not. Maybe it would be, like, red or something. Oh, a grass something. Evolution stage two. Oh, Gloom is, no, no, Gloom is secondary poison, though. No, no, Gloom is secondary poison. Bloom is secondary poison. So it, it, that counts, I think, as separate, right? Like, not poison primary, I think. Ivy? Ivy is grass poison as well. Exeggutor. There we go. Now that's a thought. That's a thought, people. Now we're thinking. Boom. I like that. I like that. Ivysaur is also grass poison, so I don't think that's any way, right? I took too many stupid pills. It's alright. This looks like Electabuzz, I think. Oh, right, that shit is Electabuzz, I think. Boom. There he is. There's the man. Um, it was built 20 years ago by scientists who dreamed of exploring space. Their dreams have yet to come true. Mewtwo? Is this Mewtwo lore? Mew. Oh, Porygon. I like Porygon, but I don't know why. Like, I forget Porygon, but also I like him. Like, I don't know why. He's just, like, the lovable sort, I think. He's just, like, the lovable sort like that. Oh, a rock fairy. Let me, let me try. Um, Deancey, right? Deancey? Boom. Steel fairy? Uh, Klefki. I think. I hope. Boom. Baby fairy. Uh, Iglybuff? Boom! Dual type rock, uh, graveler. Uh, steel dual type, um, um, bronzon, or bronzor. Boom. Baby dual type, um, Cleffa? I don't know, is Cleffa dual type though? Or does Cleffa get types later? Um,. Happy knee? I feel like I'm more... I feel like sending Happy knee is like... No? I thought that would be safer than Cleffa. Maybe not. Baby from Johto. Pichu, right? Boom. Steel from Johto. Um... And Rock. Hmm. Is Steelix Gen 2? Steelix is Gen 1, right? There's no way Steelix is Gen 2, right? Maybe he is. Maybe he's even Gen 3. I don't know. Sometimes when they, when they add evolutions, they like all blend together. He is Gen 2? Okay, I'm sending Steelix. Fuck it. <laughs> Spoilers? No, that's fine. That's fine. You know I accept, I accept help from chat. But I bet this one seems like one I can kind of do on my own, so I'm kind of cooking a little bit. Uh, Gen 2 Rock. Hmm. Hmm. Your baby dual type fucking send Cleffa. No! I, that's what I was worried about. But uh, I thought maybe. I thought maybe. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Deancey, but I remember Dan Deancey because it was like, I don't know, Deancey was like hyped up a lot at the time. But I was not really a fan myself. Let's see. What do we got? Most common? 
Clef key was most common. Smoochum. I forgot about Smoochum. Oh, okay, Steelix was our only buzz, but we missed. Oh, no, and Pichu, and Pichu, but we missed a couple. Let's see, least buzz? Nah, definitely no least buzz. What the hell? Megiarna original? What the hell? That shit's not real. Oh, Mime Jr. I like Mime Jr. He's a silly little guy. Yeah, Iggly is very normal, right? Right? Am I crazy? Iggly is very normal. That's why I put him here. But that's I thought Cleffa was also very normal and stuff. You know what I mean? Man or Mantike? Oh, see, I didn't know I counted either. See, that's a weird one, too. Like, I guess it looks like a baby, but I didn't know it classified as one. See, like, that's what I mean. Like, some of these are weird. Mime Jr. is a good one. I like Mime Jr. Um, and then, uh, and then Smoochum, I totally forgot about. Yeah, I think, I think Baby might just be any pre-evolution they added, like, later, you know what I mean? I think that's the moves. This is, like, Mario Bros. 2. Mario Bros. 2, the Lost Levels. Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh. This is a person. This is a person I'm looking at. Um. Not for broadcast. Kaboom. Elton John and Matt. Brain Age. Just Dance. PS2. Any baby mom that can't breed. Oh. I wouldn't know because I don't really I don't really go around breeding my moms like that. Um You don't know Jack for PS2? Is that shit on PS2? Yeah, but is that shit on PS2? I'll send it. I'll send it. Oops. I'm not typing. Music. Is this like... Like, I don't know, like, sing. Sing me a song. Just sing! Fuck. Sing it. That's what it is, Hector. Thank you. Not Disney, sing it. Pop hits? Pop hits. Boom. No? Sorry, was it, was it not Disney, sing it? Is there a normal sing? Oh, wait, just sing. No. Let's sing. Is it let's sing? We sing pop. You sing. We sing. Just sing. Sing party. WWF Smackdown. Just bring it. Sing star. Is that even on here? Is sing star on here? If sing star is on here, I'll send it. Now nah, let's sing. Or just. No, no, we did just sing. Let's sing. Let's sing. Sing Star Party. Wait, you were right. But I didn't see that on there. I didn't see that on there. Am I stupid? I did not see that. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Fake game. Don't exist. Kaboom. Uh, is this 20 minutes till dawn? Oh, no. This is, um... This is a Resident Evil game that Tommy played. Um, lesbians on the spaceship. Um... Um... Sigma? Signalis. Signalis. Yeah, there we go. Signalis. Kaboom. Um, what is this? This is Warframe. This is Final Fantasy X-2. Oh, it's Kingdom Hearts. Which one? <laughs> I got Twinkie saying Peekington over here. Uh-oh. Uh, which one, guys? Which one? It won? One?
Three. Kingdom Hearts fans don't fucking know the games. Great. Great, that's Peekington. That's Peekington and they still don't know what the game is. Um... I don't know, guys. What are we? What are we thinking? Who's that? Like that? That's got to be like Roxas or some shit, right? B B B. Birth by sleep. Boom. Birth by sleep. That's Warframe. That's John Evildoer, and that's Roxas. This is not the cover. Yeah, that's because we're in the artwork section. That's because we're in the artwork section. Crime, espionage, superhero, Batman, Arkham Asylum. Shit. Cell shaded wall crawling, 2099. Is there a Spider Man 2099 game? Oh, Shattered Dimensions, right? This is Shattered Dimensions, right? Or. I think it's Shattered Dimensions is that one, right? Or am I wrong? Oh, or Web of Shadows? Is Web of Shadows on here? I don't see Web of Shadows. So I'll do Shattered Dimensions. Boom, there we go. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Spider-Man something something. <laughs> Alright, now, um... Let's do, um... I don't know, Dangarampa Kaboom. Dangarampa 2. Um, older, older game, single player plus something, plus it's like on a console that existed probably ever. Um, Oblivion. Okay, we got the consoles, we got the engine! Huh. Huh. So it's we it's PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. Late between 2006 and 2012. And it's on the same engine as Oblivion. But that doesn't help me, because I don't know what the fuck games are on the Oblivion engine. New Vegas, but wouldn't it be Bethesda? Like, am I crazy? That's the part that's throwing me off, right? Is it's Bethesda. Or it's not Bethesda, rather, is what I should say. Any of their games? But it's not Bethesda. That's what's, that's what's crazy to me, right? Unless, like, one of the, it was, like, was New Vegas, like, outsourced or some shit? Oh! Wait, you're so right. It's not first person or third person or text. So it's got to be what? It's got to be top down, right? Well, New Vegas is Obsidian, but also for, it would be first person or third person. So it's got to be it's either got to be a side scroller or a or a top down game. Yeah. For Xbox PS3 and Windows, and between 2006 and 2012. Hmm. Hmm. I have to think. Um. Could it be like Bionic Commando? Like remake? I got that shit. Bionic Commando. That's probably not the remake, right? <laughs> Doritos Crash Course. That shit is not on PlayStation. That's an Xbox exclusive right there. Oh, Halo Wars? Yo, hold up. Halo Wars. Let's fucking send it. Oh, that shit's... Yeah, it's Halo. Of course it's Xbox exclusive. Um, So it's isometric bird eye and something else? Hold up, could it be Divinity 1? I don't know what year Divinity 1. It's gotta be newer than 2012, I think. 
Maybe it's Divinity, like, just two. Maybe it's just straight-up Divinity 2. They, they probably don't have Divinity 2 on here. It's just Original Sin. Fuck it. Original Sin 1. Oh, like 2014. Rough, rough. Yeah, Doritos is a bigger Xbox IP than Halo. Well, all I'm saying is people would buy an Xbox for Doritos Crash Course, but not Halo. Diablo 3? Uh, but that's just one view. That's the thing that's tripping me up. Like, is it something that was bird view and maybe side view? I don't know. I don't know. It's so confusing, right? What if it's like Splosion Man? Boom. Was Splosion Man on multiple consoles or was that just Xbox as well? Hmm, only Xbox? But it's isometric and something else. So it like, it's got to be isometric and what? Side view, right? So what's a game that would be go... Oh my god, what if it's like Fez? Did Fez go to top down? What? It, I'm sending Fez. Send Fez. Oh wait, that shit's on every console imaginable. And it is 2012, rough. Hold it, can we, where's the one-time hint? Or is that, here we go, one-time clue. Isom, it so is right, I was right. It is isometric and side view. But that doesn't really help us. So it's between 2009 and 2012. Isometric plus side view. It's gotta be a platformer, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be a platformer. But like, what did an isometric or like bird eye view plus side view? Hmm. Like a game that switched between isometric and side view. Hmm. And it's for it's also for uh, Xbox, PS3, and Windows. And it's also the same mentioned as Oblivion somehow. Somehow, some way. This is such a stumper. What we got so far? So it's isometric bird view slash side view. It's the Oblivion engine, and it's Windows, PS3, and Xbox. And it's between 2009 and 2012. Dragon Age? But that would be third person. Unless there's like a Dragon Age I don't know about. I don't know, dude. Origins is top down, but then when does uh, I wouldn't even consider that top down ish. But then when does the side view come into play? You know what I mean? I played Origins. No, I played Origins. Um, but I don't know. RPGs ruled out. Um, no, I think it could technically be RPG, right? I'll send Origins, but I I don't know. I uh, give me uh, Dragon Age though. Kaboom. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was third person slash bird eye, right? Also on oh it's on Mac. <laughs> so once again, between two thousand nine and twenty twelve. Hmm. I feel like it's going to be like some quirky platformer. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like it's got to be... A Wait, it's not RPG. Look at this. It says it's not RPG. Now that we have solo RPG genre. I think it's got to be like some quirky platformer. That's what I'm thinking, right? I want to say like fucking Splosion Man. But were you... you got, uh, Splosion Man isn't even on here. Unless, is this the new Bionic Commando? This is the new Bionic Commando, I'll send it. No, that's the original. Fuck. Flippington. It's also, like, like we don't know, like, is it versus? Wait! This is it. This is what it is. This is 100, this has got to be what it is. It has to be. But is this on the fucking Oblivion engine? Is this on the flipping Oblivion engine? It is. I fucking knew it. That's on the Oblivion engine? Oblivion and Catherine are on the same flipping engine? What? 
Whatever. Whatever. What a shit game. What the hell? This game's good. This game's pretty good. Um, What's it called? You play this game and this shit goes edge. Edge. And then I start edging. Um, nice hit. Well, you know what? What gave it away? Um, was the what's it called? Well, it one was the perspective. The perspective was like was like, you know, that was kind of a giveaway, right? Um, the engine was throwing me off, but the perspective was like, you know, that was all for it. The time lined up, and then the 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 consoles, of course, right? Because it's not full body. Um. No, I've seen a couple. Of, I, I I've seen a couple of the footage. I, I I didn't watch them live or whatever, but I, I have seen the the tournaments at Evo, um, which actually goes kind of hard. Um, see, that's what I'm saying, Hector. The part that that Oblivion and Catherine are on the same engine, that part throws me off like crazy. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I didn't do the research. Um. Anyway. Let's see, is, uh, I know it's a little early, but is Yogi still playing Elden Ring? I hope so. You can raid Yogi. Yeah, Yogi's still playing Elden Ring. Let's, uh, let's raid Yogi. He is, uh, he is currently playing Elden Ring. Um, and Yogi raided us yesterday, so now we can, now we can go to Yogi. Um, Yogi's also a part of EG. Um, he is playing Elden Ring, getting ready for the DLC. And the DLC is going to be Peekington. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, let's go raid Yogi. And say what's up. Um, but uh, thanks for watching everyone. Tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Because tomorrow's what? Wednesday. And then we have. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Then we have Thursday. And Thursday night the DLC should be out. But I guess we'll be doing filler tomorrow and Thursday. Um, so we shall see what we're playing. Yeah, filler, we shall see. We shall see. Um, so guys, keep your... Uh, what's filler? You guys you guys gotta tune in and find out, guys. Get ready. It could be anything. It could be anything. All I'm saying, guys, is they did drop a Nintendo Switch Sports update today. Yeah, filler, I hardly know her exactly. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, what if a bribe... I mean, I mean, I love getting bribed. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm, not, I'm not stopping the raid, guys. Get ready for the raid. The raid's going away. So if you're going to bribe me, you know, see me after hours. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, MVC2 with Twinkie. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow with, with something. And have fun at the Yogi stream. Bye, everyone. Bye.